I can't hear you guys. Okay, so you said maybe we should go back and get the thing out of the Chimera Nest now that we figured out the kobolds are friendly. I think somebody asked what was actually there. Me, the player, forgot what was actually there. So it was a I think it was just a treasure hoard, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a treasure hoard. Yeah, I'll just say it was a bunch of treasure. Also, the dog or yeah, the dog turned the off dog? my laptop, so I have no idea what happened after the Arcana check. Oh, there was none. <laughs> there was, I was none. Like, I thought you we just decided not to put him in there. Treasure. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Okay. I genuinely thought you were saying that there was like a dog in amongst the, I have whole to get pile of the treasure the Chimera had. Yeah, so did we get a picture? I'm working. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Car I have to let this kobold have justice. Okay. Yeah. Car Carbon's doing laundry, so we still have some time. Yeah. Can I... yeah, I don't know why she chose to do laundry in the middle of the well, kobold no, she village. Probably got called out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Carbon. <laughs> yeah. Carbon, what? Carbon, what? Oh, all right, I guess there was just Chimera girl. <laughs> uh, she just goes, there is a lot of blood on my clothes, guys. Uh, I get it. Well, Wait, we I can press the chase mission. She walked away. It's too late. We can't I, return. I can dig it down. Oh well. Can I? Can I be let out the staff? I no. really want to stick my head in the bag of holding. No. I'm curious what's in I there. I have two charges, oh. Wait, and I need them. Oh. I know, but like, it'd be funny. He wasn't there a once a day. I'm seeing this I, into the room. I have four <laughs> charges to do stuff. Oh, so you can do multiple? Okay. Yeah, but I mean, why would I imprison multiple times? It's usually a win a win a day thing. You never expected Argyle. Yeah, that's true. Um, can I dip my head in the bag? Another thing to note is that he wasn't there when the whole bag thing happened, where it was like chomping on people. So like, this he wouldn't be true. wary of it. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yes. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me about my imminent death. So I'm just gonna back away from. Them. Bag of holding. I'm, I'm done. So, Logan, can I make an Arcana check to see, to, like, would I know what would happen if, like, some sort of imprisonment gem went into the bag of holding? Uh, it's gonna be high DC. Roll me an Arcana. Come on, that's 20. Ah, damn. I was gonna uh, ask you if... Damn. I was gonna ask if I could give advantage. 28. Wait, I... Yeah, uh, I you don't know how it's going to affect it. You, okay. like, would genuinely I? have no idea. Uh, what did you roll? Oh, I need to roll. Yep. Fuck. I assume I I know like at least some stuff considering I made, uh, Mesa. Uh, is it normal or with disadvantage? Normal. Roll is a stick. I can't see it. What you, you roll? I got a nineteen on uh, Connor. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of hard to tell. It's such a weird situation. You're not quite sure. Uh, it's canon that Carbrand went to do her laundry because she had so much Chimera blood in it. I mean, to be fair, why wouldn't we have people? Okay. <laughs> well, you, that's I, what you were saying, that's you went off anyway. Yeah, you, we were trying to stop you, but you walked away so fast. <laughs> okay, I fucked up with okay. the size of it, but this is it right here. Oh, hey, Carbrand, you're back! And you're clean! <laughs> that was fast. Oh, well. Where is it? Okay, yeah. Here you go. There's a cobalt that rushes up to you guys. And it's like, eh, me draw. Me draw. Really well. And it should be in your guys's. <laughs> your shit. What? In roll 20. Oh, there it is. I see it. Where? I love, no. it. I love it. Is that is that in your yard? Uh, me not know who that is. Oh, dude. I loved Final. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. It's all the way at the it's, very uh, top. It's all the way at yeah. the very oh, top. Oh my god, is that it? <laughs> I love this anime, dude. I will say, have... for what short time, this is pretty good. <laughs> me not have many colors. He not have red. <laughs> red. Me only have blood for color red. But. <laughs> it, you it's very she vibrant. Has a wound. She has a wound on her oh, hand. No. Oh no. <laughs> me not her. It's fine. Cobalt strong. But, so. The, me not have many colors, but it's more like a, more like a burgundy. I don't know why I know what that color is. <laughs> well, of course I do. I'm I'm cobalt artist. 
And you're <laughs> burgundy. He looks kind of like a samurai strong, guy. I hang it in my, I hang it in my <laughs> house. Are you proud of it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> we can keep it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ! Yeah, could, could I commission you to draw to draw me? <laughs> <laughs> can we all just get portraits? Yeah. Uh, Fuck, New character. Sure. You guys role play enough. I'll do it right now. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I don't know um, if we can do that. <laughs> how about how long is it gonna take? I uh, me no no me hands not that strong. <laughs> I will oh, maybe we take a long time forward. with the negotiation. She might have it before they get back. Yeah. No. I have a I uh. A meal, or do I call you Kimiko in this instance? Fuck. I have like a cropped picture of my character, but uh, when I uploaded it as a thing, it didn't set it as the the token. Oh yeah, the token's weird. I think Logan has to set it or something. The token, you have to click on a picture and then set it as your token. I don't think I have the right, like the abilities to do that. Yeah, that'd I think be that's weird. a DM thing. Sorry, Doug. We're talking about token. Me, who who go first in drawing a portrait? Me, 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 me. Everyone will d20. <laughs> I'm a uh, I'll use inspiration. <laughs> cool, cool. 17. Alright. Oh, well, no, wow. oh, fuck you, Emil. You got a what? Well. 20. Really? <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Anyways, Cobalt Chieftain, I'm gonna try to DM and draw at the same time. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> Cobalt Chieftain comes out and he says, We go visit good friend Gook. Bring back Sun Dude. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, you know, wait, uh, I'm gonna whisper to Nana, like, Nana, uh, do you think we can, like, branch off on the way back or are we gonna do it after this? Uh, uh, uh. We have to uh, come back for the oh yeah we're whispering <laughs> um oh I thought it was to the ring well in my head I was thinking that we would just kind of sneak 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 and then catch up with them uh as they're meeting with Goog guys what color is your hair now that I think about it silver yeah. silver is silver okay yes. okay perfect then I was doing it right but I started doing it I'm like <laughs> Uh, so, Logan, is this door here what they wanted to unlock? Or you unblock? No? You'd have to ask him. Uh, hey, Mr. Chieftain. Uh, Snakes. Yeah, that mean name. Uh, where's the door that you uh, were talking about? It's back behind Bone Hut. Oh, okay. Me send people no like through door with Chimera. This way, shortcut. What's what's the door with the Camaro? It leads same place, more danger. Ooh, danger sounds fun. Me make me make sure me friends well look after. Oh, thank you. You're a nice kobold. Of course, me chief then. Mm, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I'm not giving up. <laughs> I'm just so sorry to all of you how bad this is going to be. That's, That's the, the fun of it. At some point. Yeah. Do you remember how Carbon likes things that are, like, ugly? This well, is on that to, level of charm. You just straight up call it songs like... Really quick, describe to me how you think, like, what armor you're wearing and everything. We haven't decided if she has shoes yet. Did you, have, like, a, did you have a crop top at the beginning? Yeah, at the beginning you did. Yeah, but now I have like a blue vest on. I think she still has the like shorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is so strange to draw, but let's do it. Um, so you guys continue. Are you guys leaving to go? Um, 
Uh, what's the name? Go to Goog. This is so difficult. Christ. Yep. I think we're going to Goog, and then we'll do other stuff later. Okay. Uh, you guys make your way past the, the you know the hour long trip into um. Goog territory. You come right through the door where we let you in. You see Goog is currently at like a cauldron. It looks like an actual hag. Like he's making some kind of potion and he notices you guys. He goes Hey guys, what's going on? You good? Hey Goog. Am I good? We... I don't no, good. remember what my voice was. I think it was this. <laughs> yeah, what's that? It's close enough, yeah. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Hello. We, we Hello. got your son. Dude! And he, he starts flapping <laughs> towards you guys, towards Dude. Dude responds more joyfully, and they both go, like, swim in that direct water source right by where you guys are. <laughs> and they're just swimming in it. Um, and you see the chieftain comes up, and he says, uh, Me, sorry for what happened to son. Uh, and Goog says, He's safe. It's okay. My master told me that this was a lot. There was a lot of stuff in the world that you could forgive. Oh my god. Wait, who is your master again? Uh, he had a really cool name. It's a gear Derringer. Uh-huh. Did you get the cool from him his... too? Yeah. Yo, can we have him? You were his what? <laughs> I'm his familiar. Chris. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, so this- wait, okay, wait, in the ring. Does that mean we need to take the duck, too? Uh, if if he ring. wants to come, maybe? <laughs> couldn't- couldn't- I'm assuming we're talking about Whack at this point, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Couldn't he just, like, re-summon the duck? But wait, couldn't the duck the just teleport the Whack? But the duck has a son. I don't think oh. that's a biological son. <laughs> As as Derek turned it back and forth, I say, "Do you know where he is?" Uh, as secure Denver. Yes. He sent me a very cryptic message. He told me to fly to Murfield, come into this dungeon, and stay here until further instructions. Oh, oh god. He's a very smart man, so I didn't question him. How long have you been know? here? It's like past the the shoulders, just okay. a little. Okay, so it's in a braid. Oh shit! Okay, well, good thing you said that. <laughs> okay, keep going. Good. How long have you been here? Oh, it's been time's a little bit weird here, but I've been here for a while. Do you know what happened to Esikir? No, he just said that he had. He was afraid that someone was gonna do something to him. Oh. He didn't want me or. And he sort of looks off into the distance like he is trying to remember <laughs> an old friend. Uh, oh, he's no. Like a, he's a big house. Oh, we oh. know him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know him. He didn't <laughs> want us to get hurt. He used to oh, be yeah. a very small house. He's just a mimic. Yeah. He likes he's to, very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> although he likes to creep on you and doesn't directly state what he wants. He can't speak. I know. <laughs> So, uh, Goog, do you recognize that staff? No, wave it around. Hey, it's me, the staff. Hey, that's Esekir's staff! Nah, dude, it's me. Wait. It looks a little dull, though. Dull? What'd you just yeah, call it me? Look, it doesn't look like it's <laughs> activated. What's wrong with it? Uh, maybe because I'm not Esekir? Maybe. What if we said we might know where he is? Well, that doesn't change. I gotta wait for him to contact me. Well, maybe you could help us fix him because he's not. He's, he's sort not of what you in remember. a weird state right now. He's sort of like an old crazy man right now. Hmm. He's not that old. That's weird. And we may need your clothes. Or what? you. <laughs> we may need you. Your clothes. Give them to us. Goog, it is I the staff. You know, we know this to be true. Actually, so like, since... I mean, we could take him. <laughs> but he has to stay he here. He has to stay until... here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Um, I'm okay, so, I mean, do uh, we need his clothes uh, to bring uh, him back? 
Can we just give him the staff? I, the, I don't know. Like, actually, Maybe the staff. Are the clothes like oversized on Goog, or they like, do they fit perfect? Okay, actually, what kind of vest? I don't know how to draw a fucking vest. I don't even know what to <laughs> A brown triangle on her chest. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Poor Logan. Is, is the clothing on Goog, like, duck-sized or person-sized? Uh, well, it's duck-sized, but you get the sense it's magical, so it'll go down anyway. Uh, okay, right. uh, okay, question. Did you have the clothes before? Yeah, he gave them to me before he left. Oh. Were they his? Uh, yeah, no, well, no. So but he didn't wear these and give them to you? He made them. Okay, then we don't okay, need so... your clothes. <laughs> you can stay oh. Okay, so, so we're we... cold tonight. Where, yeah, where so is we're... the duck's mom, by the way? <laughs> I'm at... I recreate by myself. I'm a duck. I'm a magic duck! Oh god. You see? I told you there's no, like, real... You know... Out of character, he should've just said that she was fed to the Chimera. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sad story. This is already pretty fucking sad! Is Goog a clone of Dude? No, wait, no. Is Dude, dude a, clone a clone of Goog? Of Goog. Yeah, fuck. Okay, He's I... I have a confession. I uh -huh. don't have a kid. Oh, you don't? Oh, well, who's dude that? Raising, I've been raising him since he was little. Oh, that's... So you want me to play a song for you guys? I love music. <laughs> <laughs> so Nana gets down on her knees and just starts like, like smacking her knees and she's like, bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. a good lock up to a Magic stand oh, and he said to the man right of the stand. Hey, uh, 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 got any Essecures? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I... no, I was just like, man, what's a song with ducks while you were talking to him? And I thought about that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if dude wait, if dude isn't actually Goog's kid and was only raised by him, then that still raises the question, who the fuck are dude's parents? They're just ducks, are guy. <laughs> yeah, they're what? just ducks, what do you what? want? Where are there any other ducks? These are he's a magic duck! He's answer. a familiar <laughs> duck who's raising a duck child no, 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 orphan! No, no, no. Dude I... isn't a familiar duck! I think there's no, a lot there, more guys. important questions than yeah. where did this duck come from. Guys, I agree with you. I Mama. can't sleep until I know dude's family <laughs> That sounds like a personal problem. He has a right to know his family lineage. Can Is I do it... legend lore on dude? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. yes. Do you have okay. the incense for it? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> not doing Wait. that, not doing that. Dresden? <laughs> <laughs> Another question. Okay. Does Dresden have freckles? No. Okay. Oh. I can, I can, Goldie. undo, 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 undo. undo. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing, too. Okay, well, you know. So he's too small <laughs> with the door closed. But the vacuum gets picked up by the... There we go. There's your hands. Your hands are beautiful. So, Yours is done. <laughs> okay, so... Can you help us in any way in our journey to <laughs> go <laughs> toward finding something for a giant dragon? What? No! What do you mean, no? Uh, well, it'll be like Cobalt area. I can't really do anything. Or to I... help us bring your owner? I was told not to leave. Well, I mean, you don't have to leave. Yeah, but I don't. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Okay, so if we give Ezekiel the staff, do you think he would return to normal? Or do we need something else? I'm not super into the magic stuff. Or do you know somebody who... Making a... He's brewing like a fucking <laughs> obvious version. Says the duck who was casting plane shift. Hey, that's... <laughs> that's that's elementary school stuff for my master. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what we could do? Uh, On Old Man Wack, or I guess Derringer. What are we calling him there? 
Uh, either or. As, Grandpa. Uh, uh, As a way. that thing that Alpheus did to, uh, Sarah. What, go into her brain? Yeah. Well, we oh, need yeah. to get there out. first. I also yeah, don't know that we know enough of his history. Or, I mean, don't worry, I think a demon is waiting for us. We could bring well? the dog. We could bring Goo. <laughs> Who knows? Here! He doesn't want to leave. Maybe we'll bring Wack here. Goog's not coming. I think Argyle is saying Look. bring Weck here. Yeah. Right, let's, let's... Uh, uh... Emil? And Carbon. Carbon. I but... said I would go... Oh, I said I was gonna go after Beja so she could get her sooner. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Emil, Beja, Carbon. Okay, keep going. So I think we're gonna give the staff to Weck whenever we end up in Westwater again. And then see what happens and go from there. Yeah. And we know Google stay here, so we can always come. I guess another question. Since having the staff, have I noticed it getting dimmer? Or was it always like this color? Shine. Didn't you find it in a swamp? Yeah, we found it inside a gelatinous cube. Yeah. In a dying swamp. Maybe Esikir just unlocks the whole power, of, like all the power. Okay. Also, uh, oh, what? Uh, wow. did, 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 is the staff any less shinier than the first day I got it? No, it's the same shit. Oh darn. Okay. Uh, Goog, I have a question. Sure. So. What color uh, is hair before you start your question? <laughs> what? Um, black. Um, That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, so, you're, you're <coughs> good with magic, uh, what? so do you happen oh. to have, do you have a teleportation circle around here? No, I don't really do that kind of stuff, because I don't need it. I'm waiting for my master to come back and he'll summon me. Uh, do you set up a teleportation? Okay. No. You, you could set up, oh. can't you, I don't know about the Wait, spell. Wait, mm, Beja, if you teach him how to put the sigils down, he can... I think he might know how to do it already. Do you know how to do it? Yeah. You just don't want to do it? I can do it. What do you guys need me for? Uh, well, if we ever need to come back here, I can teleport with a teleportation circle, but there needs to be one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I can do that, yeah. And he goes over and starts making one. You can memorize it. Okay, yay, thank you. You're welcome. Horns are different. Yeah, horns suck, <laughs> by the way. Well, just, we're just, just draw them to get straight out of her head. <laughs> well, hers curve, if I remember correctly. They do, but don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Too late. They look like you got Spyro the fucking dragon over here. Dude, I love Spyro. Uh, I just remembered okay. something I need to add to Drive. Just keep going. Oh, um, so, okay, uh, so we can't. We got a teleportation from him. We can't really. Ascertain anything else, I think, right? Yeah, I, I do need to do one more thing before I leave, though. Uh, okay. So I'll I'll be right back. Uh, just stay here, and Wait. I'm gonna go back into the main area. The cobalt area? No, the the goblin area. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go over there. And I want to go to the goblin tent. The, he's still in there. He's got he's in a lewd pose. He's like half naked. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, sorry about the wait. Uh, are you ready? Oh my! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm real ready. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. You left okay. Your ring on. <laughs> close, close your eyes. <laughs> he closes his eyes. Okay, I'm gonna cast modify memory. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, next thing is so difficult drawing Beja. <laughs> You have so many pieces of clothing on, just like <laughs> yeah. She has a dress. And oh, uh, I have, I have the, I have the like starry wizard robes right now. Perfect. Thank you. An excuse to not have to draw the shit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, continue. Okay, so I'm gonna cast modify memory on him, and basically, I want it to be to where I leave and a bunch of other people come in and then do whatever robe. Okay, <laughs> you do it. 
hear like some mild like gurgling as his brain's being fucking modified with, and then he wakes up. Wow. <laughs> Okay, thanks thanks for the 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 time. Come <laughs> back again. There. Then I'm gonna be happy because I didn't scam him out of something. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do a bunch of really quick stars. There we go. What color do you imagine the stars are? Uh yellow, yellow or white. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, guys, keep going. <laughs> no, I'm I'm back. Hello. Sorry. So what are you guys doing? Uh I guess we can go back now? Since we yeah, know uh, that it's not I his make, clothes. I make tunnel for men. Oh wait, didn't you guys want to do something? Out of character of me yeah, speaking. Yeah. What? I'm sorry, did I miss mm -hmm. something? Out of character, I think Beja and Nana were gonna go investigate the treasure hoard. Yeah. Right? Okay. So on oh, your guys' yeah. way back, you wanna like swing by there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Beja, what color are your eyes? Uh the, the Baja 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 color. Just use cyan, it's close enough. Well, excuse me, I have to give exact hex codes to artists for my commissions. <laughs> Okay, so you go back. Uh, Beja and Nana, do you guys using some sort of spell to climb up the thing? Or are you guys climbing it? Uh, do I have a spell? I could Dimension Doris up there, but not back down. I can Polymorph up there. Oh. Can you Polymorph and carry me? Uh, yeah, I could actually. All right. Uh, how big are the tunnels? Uh, oh, just turned you gray. Um, they are, what tunnels? The ones that are on your way there, or? Yeah, like, if I turned myself into a giant eagle, could I fly through the tunnels? No, but you could fly when you get into that room where the treasure was. Hmm. There was really a giant expect. chimera there. You know, I'm going to try to climb first. <laughs> Okay. Just give me an athletics check. Ooh, ow, two. Minus two. <laughs> you you reach up to grab the first plank and you get a sliver. <laughs> ow, ow, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pick it out. Okay, yeah, you pick it out. It doesn't do any damage to you. It's fine. Damn, this is pretty tough. Yep. Uh, Might have to use a fourth level. Uh, you want to try to climb up it? Fucking oh, no. sure. Images of Reiner, Reiner from the ship flexing at you fill your mind as you roll an athletic. <laughs> Ten. Uh, <laughs> you get about halfway up and you fall and you take... Oh my god. You take can I try to catch? Can I try to catch? Uh, them? yes. I'll say you're able to do so. You'll both take two damage. Okay. okay. You know what? It's it's Polly more time. <laughs> uh, so, uh, giant eagle, and I'm gonna grab Nana and fly. Okay, you do so. You get up there and you see that there is a large nest with, um, like inside of the nest, kind of obstructed. You can't really notice from just a glance. Is a large amount of gold and a couple of items that are just sort of sitting inside the inside the nest. That is way too small for Emil's head. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, since I'm an eagle, I can't really talk, I guess. So I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> grab my bag of holding and then, like, drop it in front of me and then just kind of nod it. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Exactly. I guess I'll just start looking through and, like, putting stuff in. Uh, okay. So you grab a... Uh, sorry. Hold on. Chimera. Okay, so uh, are you just shoving stuff into your bag? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it first to make sure it like looks safe. Like the gold coins, probably just put them in there. But like the items, like check them okay. out. So you get twenty five thousand gold pieces, 
and you there's an amulet that looks like it has an eyeball on it that just seems like it's looking around. Oh, um, we know what those are. It looks similar to something that Carbon has. You guys have seen Carbon ask around about, and huh? you see. No, 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 no. It, it looks like a prying eyeball kind of. Okay. It's not an eyeball eyeball, it's like an artistic thing. Uh, I can get a picture real quick. So Carbon was asking about it? Yeah, she- you- I guess you guys would have gathered that this is an amulet of Avandria. I'll- um, I'll take that and pocket it myself so I can give it- It does- it does seem, uh, to have- it's, it's a magical item for sure, though. You can tell that it's special. Yeah, um, I mean- The other thing in the nest is, uh, they look like these very sturdy, like, fur boots with spikes on the bottom of them. Um, yeah, I'll just put them in the bag. Okay. So write down, uh, well, I guess I have it right here. But yeah, you get all that stuff. All right. And then I'm going to grab the bag and and then grab Nana and then fly back down, or fly back up to this side. And then uh, go back. Emil's horns look really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, so, I mean, that was harder than I thought it would be to get up there, but. <laughs> uh, so let's go, let's go back and we can split this up when we go into the, into the tunnel afterwards. Yeah. And his name, I don't remember his name, but he was also a chieftain. What is Beja and Nana? Snacks. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> no, it's like me just talking to random voice. Uh, me snakes. Um, <laughs> me no. No, the uh, other chieftain. Do. What's his, the guy from our dune? Hmm? Hey? Me our dune sound familiar. Brother tribe, me not no current chieftain. Do you know Vix, our dune? Mm. Crocnolly. Okay. No, no, I know, I know no name from Ardun. I know well-known name. Very fierce for frog hunters. Yep. Wow, this hair, you look like a shaggy dog. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. Hey! <laughs> I accidentally pasted Dryzen into yours, too, so now, oh, what is happening? <laughs> Okay, so you guys come back. You guys meet up in the cobalt area. You guys are putting your stuff together. What are you guys doing? I um, I walk up to Carbon and I'm like, "Oh my god, I've missed you so much. I just need to, I just need to do everything. Come on, let's go, let's go. I just, I can't let them see how how affectionate I am for you." <laughs> I go. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume we're away from everyone. I hand her the amulet, and I'm like, you were asking about this, weren't you? Uh, I'm looking it over, and, um, yes, where did you find this? It was in the Camaro place thing. I make it what face? <laughs> but, um, is it okay if I keep this? Yeah, sure. I got it for you. I hug her. Thank you. <laughs> like the tight hug. She returns in. It's no problem, you know? A anything for you. I don't know why Emil is the most difficult for me right now, but hey, you're gonna be an emo kid. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I specifically didn't want him to be that. You caught him as he thought about the last trial he has to face. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Emil's head is done. <laughs> Uh, so I guess I'll pocket it and attune to it later. Because I don't think I can, like, attune and walk. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't need attunement. It's just magical item. Oh, okay. shit. I'll put it on. I'll replace the other one then. I'll put it on under and, like, wear it under my armor. What is it? Uh, it just says, it's an amulet of proof against detection and location. 
Ooh. While wearing this item, people can't scry on you. On like, out of character, awesome, but also, oh no, Rinkatan, sweet bab, you can't see me anymore. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Yeah. There you go. That's your uh, Emil. What are your eyes color? <laughs> okay, that's what I thought, but you know, because I know Kaius has blue eyes, I think. So. Anyways, uh, so you guys, yeah, you're all met up. Uh, those two come back. Roger sort of gives you guys a, uh, I don't really want to know what happened, but well, I'm glad you're back. Did we, did we decide on what we're doing? Uh, we're going to go look at the tunnel. All right. Yeah, Snakes is going to let us behind his hut. Yes, behind the hut, yes. And this is also the path you used to trade with the other drow? Yes. Okay. We have not have contact for a while. Undead get crazy bad sometimes. Okay. Hope they okay. Oh, uh, Snakes, I was gonna ask you, uh, what makes the other tunnel more dangerous? It's less erect. I see. It's I want erratic. the more erect tunnel. Um, I not say erect. <laughs> direct? Oh, what? I, direct? Direct? Okay. I heard erect. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Me, Cobalt, no get erect. We have cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. Okay. Yeah. Emil, you have your autumn. You have your autumn. Uh, thing, right? Yeah, I have an autumn. Are you just gonna put a bur <laughs> bunch of leaves on me? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Okay. Uh, so when can we go? Now would be good. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's Actually, go. wait. What? What, com what kind of kobold st stores do you have? What kind what? Kobold stores. What do you sell here? Lock, do you have that? Black rock mushroom. Black star mushroom. Okay, let's... <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah, wait, are you going into the stores? I can't hear what you said. No, I said let's go. Let's go to the... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna stop drawing for a second so we can continue the game while we're in there. Oh wait, should we need to get our drawings? <laughs> yeah, I'm still drawing them. I'll send them when I'm done. I think he's drawing okay. us as a group. Mm, no? No, but that was a very good idea to do. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you know it's what? fine, just do separate. Actually, here, I'm gonna make a note, and I'll just do it over the week, because that's <laughs> okay. like something to do. And if our next session is ass, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyways, I'll just, uh, I guess, stop what I'm working on. <laughs> uh, fuck, what was I gonna do? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Down oh, no. the tunnel. The very okay, erect so tunnel. I gotta play new music. We've been listening to the same song for like 30 minutes. Okay. You guys are going down the tunnel. Oh my god, stay with me, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dude, this tunnel is so erect. <sighs> you guys get to this doorway behind the chieftain's hut. Um, behind the hut, you see that there is a caved-in doorway, like, similar to one in the Camara room, and you, know, you see him and a bunch of other, like, night kobolds sort of start digging in at it, and they clear a path, and it is dark, there's no light or anything, and the path is open to you. Um, you then are free to enter, the kobolds give you a respectful kobold goodbye, and but they do they, they do a wave, um, and uh, the chieftain says, uh, "Come back live." We will certainly try. Uh, uh, also, you meet shiny men. Be careful. He don't seem very weak. He seems strong. He seems like he belongs in anime. I'm sorry. <laughs> what's anime? What's, what's an anime, Emil? <laughs> Are you offending <laughs> my, my high cobalt artisan? No, no, no. I'm, I think I'm more offending what he looks like than how. What anime? Uh. <laughs> Sauce? Sauce? And you guys no. continue to the spot. <laughs> you guys walk down the corridor. Um, can I look at my pocket watch? What time is it? Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, Man, you know, I have a pocket watch for a reason, but whenever I need it the most, it doesn't work. 
Uh, was it working before you came in here? I I think so. Yeah, it would have been. Huh. Yeah. You sort of hear that uh, you and you also when you said that you keep hearing that the residents here are like ah uh, time's weird here. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's true. I wonder if it's just like that bubble in the swamp, just inside a mountain. Let's try dying and find out. The, mm. the black, uh, the inevitable, no, not the inevitable, and that's critical role. The black death dragon guy, uh, kills you all instantly when you die. No. Um, <laughs> Wait, you find pumps. yourself traveling through a stone corridor. Uh, there's sediment covering the floors that you guys are following until it comes into a split path. You guys have been following this for an hour until it gets to this point. There's a path that goes left, and there's one that goes right. And which way are you guys going? Well, right's right. Uh, can I look for any indication? Uh, yes. You, like footprints and stuff like that? Yeah. Do well, an like, investigation check. How are you helping? Um, I'm going to also look for like trap, uh, not trapped, footsteps or like scratches on the wall to see if like maybe somebody bumped into something. Uh, sure. Uh, since you're doing something that's not really helping, I'll say you both can roll investigation. Okay. But. No advantage. So since we're in a favored terrain, and my proficiency bonus is doubled, and I have a minus one for investigation, does it just zero out? Uh, that's a good question. I'll say yeah. Okay. Without okay. Like, I'll just say yeah. That was also a ten. <laughs> So, uh, there's, this seems like this pathway hasn't been traveled in a very long time, uh, especially from, you know, hearing what the Cobalts had to say about the, how the paths are and everything and why they were shielded off. Um, mm -hmm. so you're unable to find any sort of indication of which way would be a correct way. Does anyone want to try anything else? I try to smell. <laughs> I want to, which one smells more dead? Give me a perception check with, I guess... It, not advantage, just normal. <laughs> Natural one. Yeah, so you, you smell, and a little bit of that sediment that's coming from the stone gets right into your nostril, and it kind of makes you cough a little bit. Is there any way we can, I, like, I detect sneeze. anything? Like, magic or undead, or maybe we can throw a light in there or something? Can't you? Didn't you have a thing that where you check the tower? Oh, wait, I have arcane eye. I can just, like, go down the tunnel with... Yeah, that thing. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I don't. I mean, it kind of depends on how long the tunnel is. It might take a while. Do you want me to try that? Or we can go down one tunnel and, you know, just go from there. Uh, hold on. Well, I'll go ahead and detect magic and just see if what if I see any glowy well no because that's within 30 so that's not going to be very helpful I'll do it anyway okay. but okay yeah you just so... miss your your party members and magic mm -hmm. on them okay so I can do this I can cast arcane eye and have that go down one side and then we go down another side and then we can see both sides at once except you'll have to guide me okay we can guide you that's easy I'll just okay I pull out my hand and I'll say, just, you know. Okay, I'll grab Nana's hand and cast Arcane Eye. Okay. And uh, with... Uh, so there's like a little floating ball there. I think we should go with your gut and let us go right and then go the other one go left. Okay, and I'm going to send my Arcane Eye down the left path. Okay, so your Arcane Eye goes down the left path, you guys down the right one. Um, You walk for about how long does your spell last uh one hour okay so do you have to be within a range of it uh you create an invisible magical eye with, within range that hovers in the air you mentally receive visual information from the eye normal vision dark vision 30 feet uh as an action you can move the eye 30 feet in any direction there is no limit to how far away the eye can move but it can't enter another plane of existence and a solid barrier blocks the eye's movement but it can pass through a one inch diameter okay um so you guys are walking down the right path you send the eye down the left path. Um, as you guys are walking, you guys get five minutes in, it keeps going. Ten minutes in, it keeps going. 
20 minutes in, it keeps going. Any difference between the past so far? Neither of you guys have different images. You're looking through the Ibeja, it's just the same hallway. And then through your partner, he's sort of telling you that the same thing's happening on your end. You're, it's a little strange. You guys keep doing what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, so 30 minutes past, same thing. At this point, Devin sort of like nudges you, uh, dries in. Just, so, were those kobolds sort of like the ones you told me about? Well, the ones we know of liked frogs, but they didn't know about frogs, so. Hmm. Not the same. Um, do these places creep you out too? This is really creepy to me. There's no light, and I can hardly see anything and I keep running into stuff at this point we're kind of used to it so I'm not as afraid anymore out of character do I hear the complaint about the light uh I would say you were in the front and Car Dryzen's in the back because that's normally how you guys roll is if one of you's in the front one of you's in the back mm -hmm. so probably not in this instance oh too bad I could have um, danced in light but he, he just says uh can I I don't know like can we hold hands so I don't get lost or anything <laughs> yeah, she'll hold out her hand. He takes your hand. Uh, you guys keep walking. 40 the... minutes in, no change. Argyle, yeah? So, even though I'm inside the stuff, would I be able to cast certain spells, like detect magic? Sure, yeah. Uh, can I do that? Uh, yeah, sure, you can cast it. Alright. Uh, you just sense, like, around you that the same walls and everything. Everything seems to be kosher. The only magic you sense is on your party members and friends. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that rules out that this might be an illusion or something. 40 minutes in, no change. What 50 the... minutes in, no change. On both sides. What if we walk backwards? You get to about an hour. Do you want to walk backwards? I'm in a staff. I can't do anything. No. <laughs> I'm just saying this out loud. Like, hey, what if we walk backwards? Maybe it's one of those things. Hold on, so, uh... Uh... It's getting close to the hour, Beja, and you see your eye on your side opens up into a very large, uh, opened area, and you can see a very large bridge that spans across this huge chasm, and it looks like a really rickety old rope bridge. Oh, no. There's not going there. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything on our side? Uh, your guys is still just hallway. Uh, so, I I found a I found a, a cavern with like a a bridge. But it's it's really far down there. We had to take like two hours to get there. We're not very good with bridges. I don't, I don't like bridges. Is it like a new bridge or is it like an old old bridge? It's very rickety. I wouldn't uh... trust. I can um, mend it, <laughs> you know, plank by plank. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Uh, let me see what's around it, and can I like put my eye across the bridge? Uh, it's an hour cast, right? Yeah. So you get towards like the front of the bridge, and you lose a spell. Damn it! Why does this dungeon have everything one hour away from each other? <laughs> <laughs> Almost like somebody planned it. Eh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, so, I couldn't see anything else. Although, I do agree with Beige, it would kind of seem a waste of time to just go back if we're just gonna have to face a bridge. Especially one that we probably can't cross all together. Well, um, question, did you see how long the bridge was? Uh, I think so, yeah. 120 feet. It was 120 feet exactly. Um, I could... I could get somebody across with myself if we were to do that, but just one person. Okay. Uh, do do we want to like continue down here for like at least another 10, 20 minutes, see if there's anything, or do we want to just head back? And yeah, let's just keep walking for a bit. I think. If we it's walked, cost, it's like we walked one hour. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you guys keep walking. Yep. I'll give it max 30 minutes. How, How far are the, the two sides from each other? Can I like possibly make a door in between them? 
Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, like, uh, when my eye was moving, did it look, look like it was moving away from us or, like, yeah, straight ahead? Opposite, opposite directions of each other, like a T intersection. Okay. I think I said okay, crossroads, okay. but it, it's just a T. Oh, I was imagining, like, a fork. Okay, so it's a T. Uh, I okay. guess it technically doesn't matter. If I think I said fork, so we could just say it looks like this. Sure. Either way. So it was away from us, though, so it's probably pretty far out. Well, do you guys keep walking? Well, I, Dryzen had a question. Can she, like, dig through it, I think? Uh, it would be a lot of digging. It'd probably be, like, a like an hour and maybe half of digging and it's solid like worked stone which isn't impossible but what if she uses stone shape stone shape read me stone shape I don't necessarily know if you can do that for an hour and a half I think you can No more than five feet in any dimension. It's an action to cast. As long as the wall is less than five feet thick. Probably not. Okay. When you wanted it? You keep going. Well, how is this? We're still at hour when we find out that there's a chasm yeah, on one side. Yeah, you guys are. Yes. Uh, as we're like walking, can I be like refreshing my detect magic every so often, like doing the content, uh, not the yeah. ritual cast of it? Just yeah, you don't. It up. You don't sense any magic or anything. You guys go, keep going. <laughs> I think we're still walking. I think we should. Yeah. Okay. You get a little bit further, and you're immediately struck with an image of you're at a cliffside. You guys are all standing on a ledge that can barely fit you all. Like here's the here's like the cliffside where you guys are standing or whatever, and this is where the cliff is. And you look out into like the expanse, and there's these huge, humongous, like, I don't remember if stalagmite, is stalactite the one from the ground, or is that the ceiling? I don't know. I don't but, know, but it's the, the ceiling. Ground, the ground one. And you see only just the tips of them, and they're huge. And then it just disappears into this fog, into this huge canyon. And the only thing that you can see is there is a small trail that is carved out of the side of the mountain, and you see an individual like probably just a human <sighs> creature about like a mile away you can barely just make out that they're over there and they're moving in a certain direction i'm not okay with them either towards or uh, towards or away from shiny? us Tor so the trail goes right underneath you guys so this we'll say this is the trail and this is what the trail does if you can see the black marker it's kind of hard to see yeah. but you're basically seeing him a mile away this creature a mile away right where this black spot is and you see that there is a light glow right here as if somebody has made camp this is also about maybe 3,000 feet below you guys where the trail starts you guys have hit a dead end and that was a failure failure for to, what? I need to roll a dice oh failure for what? you know we could jump off and feather fall so, Could I just... as you guys are having this this thing, I need you all to make a strength saving throw. Strength? Um, no! I don't, have to, so I don't need have. I don't have to do so, anything. I'm in the so. <laughs> Beja, would you still be holding my hands? Uh, could we? Oh, could we like no. do something together to like maybe <laughs> make this Wait, work? Me? Yeah. You guys are falling. This is just. This is just. I rolled on an Rodney? encounter table. Oh, you guys are pretty shaky. I roll. I rolled a fifteen already. So can you, you, yeah, uh, I rolled a natural one. Not. So can we help each other? Yeah, I'll, I'd help them. <laughs> uh, no. 
So, <laughs> uh, wait. So, Emil, you rolled a six. Roger rolled a six. Roger rolled, a, Roger rolled a six. That was me rolling on Roger's character sheet. I should change the characters. I physically rolled and got an 18 for a total of 17. Okay. So, <laughs> Beja, you fail. Dryza, what? you fail. And Emil, you fail. What? I'm I think I fail. I oh, think I fail. Emil, Roger fails. What oh, you God. A uh, natural one. So yeah, you fail. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for Aaron. Natural twenty on Aaron. I'm gonna oh, roll for Devin. Okay, come on. <laughs> Natural eighteen. Strengthy boys. Fine. Okay. Okay, so. <clears throat> uh, how much of a? Hold on, I need to figure out how much of a. Wow, this could be all really bad for Beja. Beja, what's your strength score? Oh God, no. My modifier score. Your score. Five. This could be very bad for Beja. Oh no. Oh. Beja, your strength is reduced by not by two, but it becomes two. Oh. <laughs> Emil, your strength is reduced Roger. by two points. Or Roger's strength is reduced by two points. His score. My phone is pissing me off. Stop texting me. Get in. Okay. So. Get in. Um. Who else failed? Nana. Yeah. Hopefully you roll low. Nana, your strength, your strength score only gets reduced by one. You rolled, it rolled bad on that one. Oh, that doesn't do anything to my modifier then. So you're good. You just feel like you're just like a little sore. Asia, you feel like you're barely able to walk. If that would have rolled a four, someone would have had to carry you. Take my place on the staff. No. There is high energy. energy. Dryzen, I think you succeeded, didn't you? No, I got a seven. Oh, you got a seven. Okay, here we go, Dryzen. Uh, wow, two. So reduce your your score by two. Remember that. Remember what it is normally when you reduce it, so it's don't get confusing later. But um, as of you know right now, you guys is your strength is reduced by those numbers. You feel like some sort of essence or shadow has entered your guys' form and sucked something out of some of you. D&D Beyond literally won't let my strength be too. So try to remember it. Your strength like if I, high, you can't right? override it? There's an override option. No, I know there's an override thing, but if I set it to two, it puts it to three. And if I do minus one on top of that, it still sets it to Just write it down in like one of your side things. Yeah, do a sticky yeah, note. Yeah, okay. Or a character I... sheet that's easily so, yeah. changed over. What, what are you guys doing in this situation? Um, yeah, what are you guys doing? So, does it feel like that was a one time thing or? That was, I rolled on an encounter table. You guys failed the, to do the right, well, not do the right thing, but you guys. Basically, you got caught in a situation, and you guys are behind. Uh, you guys are behind the schedule. You guys got to catch up speed somehow. Um. Uh, well, we can we see. The old guy going to the turret. Can we can see the the light? Well, we are wasting. We did, he just said we're like need to catch up. We need to think of something fast. We I'm can't. saying this in character. Okay. So this is sort of like a big. So, for you guys, this is like a character, or like a skill challenge, but it's not like that. It's also like, you guys have to have three successes in things I throw at you before you have three failures, and that was the first failure out of the first. Oh, shoot. So, um, so he's ahead of you guys. He's ahead of us, okay. Well, we can't, okay, out of character, because I'm not doing a Mill's voice, we can see the thing, the, like, possible village stuff down there. It looks like a camp, right? Yeah, it looks like a, it just looks like a fire. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's like a mile away. Is it possible for us to feather fall down there? Yeah, you guys could be on the same path as him if you would like to. Maybe we can fly? Okay. <gasps> Maybe we can fly? Anything to where I don't have to stand would be preferable. What if that guy just turns out to be like the one two electric boogaloo, you know? Well, how long? <sighs> I know that Dryzen can change her form to fly. I don't know how many of us can fit. 
I can turn into a giant ass. Deja, can you turn other people into animals, or is it just you? Uh, I can only do one at a time, so because it, it's concentrated. Actually, now that I think about it, why the hell is there just a guy here? Uh, like, wasn't this place sealed off by the kobolds, and wasn't the other entrance here sealed off in the Chimera chamber? You did say the diamond guy went through, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's probably here for that thing that we're looking for. I can turn into a bat and fly over there and see what I can see. Okay, so I, me, Dryzen, and Carbon can all fly. And that leaves... Emil can feather fall everyone else. Actually, so um, Emil, sorry, me and Dryzen can transform and carry people. Carbon can fly themselves. I think we definitely have enough to where the rest of you can feather fall. Well, are we just going to feather fall directly down? Yeah, and then uh, I guess if you guys fall off path, I can, like, swoop down and redirect you. Or actually, wait, no, I can just I can just uh, polymorph and then go up and down and just carry you all one by one. That way we don't waste so much. Well, we can have Dryzen do that. That way you don't have to waste a spell. Okay, yeah. Are you okay with that, Dryzen? I yeah, fine. Uh, if it while you do that, I'm just gonna like lay down for a bit, <laughs> and I'm gonna like lay down and like put a pillow on my head. Yeah, Aaron sort of helps you fluff the pillow, <laughs> puts it under your head. Oh, thank you, Aaron. Oh, by the way, I have a lot of gold. Yes. Oh, dress is gonna turn into a giant. Oh, do you want me to go see? Yeah, we can use you as a scout since you can do that without the cost of your spell, I think, right? Yeah, it's just until dawn next day, but I haven't used it, so yeah. It's free. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Carbon, are you turning into a bat and Dryzen's turning into a giant owl? Mm hmm. Okay, so are you just trying to go see what he's up to without being spotted? Yeah, just like. Yeah. Get okay. close, see what I can see. Okay, so just give me a stealth check as you are flying over there. Oh, okay, it's past without a trace. It, oh, well, so past without a trace. Yeah, oh, yeah, it won't work. Okay, yeah, that's true. So not not pass? Yeah, yeah it wouldn't yeah. work. Yeah. Okay. 23. Yeah, 23. Okay. Oof. Uh, I didn't mean oof for you, I just threw my pencil in my... <laughs> oh. Uh, I need one second. That's a good time to go to break, because I need to look up something. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. Please, please don't stop my strength again. I want to live. Wait. So <laughs> we can't finding him would be sucky. So the guy is probably the shiny guy, right? What we are thinking he is. Maybe I think he is. I mean, who but, else would be here? Yeah. So we have to catch up to him, but we're landing a little bit before him. You guys, you guys will have, like, the opportunity to get ahead of him, game mechanic-wise. Like, even right now, even without making a skill check, if you guys were to successfully get past him by flying past him and stuff, you can get ahead of him. But there's going to be other times where you guys can get ahead of him. Okay, okay. So we don't have to freak Every out time right you, now. Yeah, you guys don't have to freak out. You guys have, you have to hit three failures before he gets there before you guys, so... I'm more scared of failing again and getting, Why like, killed. rolling now and getting good? I will say... This, I was really worried about you guys rolling this specific one because Beja, you legitimately could have, could have became, because if you fall to zero strength, you just die. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Why? Like, it's die, die, nothing chance. can change. Yeah. Dead, dead. Yeah. But can it, could something change that? Could like we help? You could, you could resurrect Beja. Okay. But she'd be like exhausted but, for three. Yeah. Days. And I'm also, I also, your resurrections aren't guaranteed. Do we do the thing that they do in crit roll? Well, well, it's just like how we did with Trisco when he was dead. You remember where you had to bring stuff to the... to offer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, very, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Did you say the same thing as Critical Role? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matt Mercer's sort of thing with resurrection okay. rolls. Uh, so... I didn't do it this time. Because I didn't know what it was. Uh, well, I guess that kind of sucks, though. If it, Well, I guess in character, I would know this would happen then. 
But if I get that feeling again, could I like bonus action drink that potion? Uh No. <laughs> Because it was it was because it was like a thing that happened because you guys failed. It's something that something's happening. I can't say too much about it. Okay. Hmm. But if Why you wanted to drink it, if you want to drink it, your strength would go up right now for an hour. For an hour. Yeah, but it's only an hour, so we might not fail this hour. Yeah. Man, you know, I can't find the thing I was. Question. Mm -hmm. How does the fire giant strength thing work? Like, if I use it and then go, it's an hour, do I go back to two or five? You go back to two. Your, your maximum is two until you figure out how to cure this. Okay. I'm very scared right now. But... I mean, I have to, I roll on an, like a table of what happens. You guys could have fought something, but you guys got one that wasn't a battle. It was a, uh, something else. Man, hmm. I'm getting very frustrated because I can't find the thing I had earlier. Take that as a yes. What the heck? Okay, 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 okay. Ah, we're getting closer and closer to finding it. Hold up. Found it. Thank God. I was gonna, I was really stressing. Fuck me. Ooh. Has it been five minutes? Is everybody here? I'm here. Oh, we're too close. Okay, I'll be right back then.
Hello. 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 Roll call. Argyle. Hey. Major. Carver. <laughs> Tyson. Whoop. Emil. Hello. Nana. No. Hello. Okay, he's gonna roll to see if he sees you, Carver. It was 23, right? Don't get seen, don't get seen, don't get seen. Yeah, that, don't yes. Seen. Based on my dice, yes. <laughs> okay, so as you're flying over, you notice that the, he doesn't, he didn't take out the campfire, so it's still burning. Um, there's some, like, stuff still there. It looks like textile goods. Um, like, they're, like, mostly been, uh, like, either eaten through or whatever. Uh, like, getting a look at this individual a closer, the picture that the kobolds had sort of sent uh, isn't far off. Um, kind of hard to tell from your distance because it's trying to be super far away, but you can tell that he has like some sort of hooded cloak and he's half wearing like monk-ish sort of vestiges. But the rest of his body is covered in like this diamond colored armor. Um, it seems to be like he's, it's not really armor, but it's like crystal-like uh, small pieces. He also mm -hmm. seems to have but wasn't in the cobalt's drawing, there is a large, uh, it looks like a very large scroll. It's about the size of his entire torso that he has just tied to his back. Uh, and he has a very large, ornate boa staff um, that he is carrying and using as a walking stick. And um, without getting too close, um, you just can sort of sense that like there's this, there's this very faint, like white glow that comes off of his every footstep, um, and uh, you see that he stops and he looks directly over towards you in your bat form. No, I fuck right no. off, but not to the party. <laughs> yeah, so you see, you just see bandage eyes, like bandages, sort of look over in your direction and you see like this black ooze that's coming out from underneath the bandages. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, mm -hmm. and you just like, you, you know, you're sort of running, but you see that the character starts to keep walking. Oh. Uh, it's definitely a diamond uh, encrusted individual that you guys are warned about. Uh, you give me a wisdom saving throw. As you're sort of you have an advantage. You do have advantage because you guys had hero's piece. Also, is it charm? I guess uh, I already have an advantage, so. Yeah, that's true. But if he's trying to put me to sleep, he flat out can't. No, he's not putting me to sleep. Okay. Uh, this is wisdom saving. Yeah. Ooh, fifteen. Okay, so. Advantage. That's high yeah. enough. For you to know that going this way might not be the best idea. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, you get the sense that even though he's blind, he has a very high perception, and there's a very low chance you guys make it past him. And I like just that feeling of dread of you get the feeling probably that... shouldn't fight this guy. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna really fuck well. off away from everything, like so that I don't just go straight to the party, and then I'll, like, come back to the party. Mm -hmm. Uh, is everyone down here waiting, or are we still shuttling? I'm still sleeping up here. Okay, I'll wait for everyone to be down here before I explain. We haven't come down yet. Yeah, you guys are on the ledge still. Don't oh, I thought you guys still were. Okay, I thought you guys were doing that while I was flying. Because that's what you guys said. But I guess I'll just return to the party and explain that. So, but we have to I... get to the brazier before he does. There's always the bridge. I was going to say, I think that it would be smarter to turn around and go and waste the other way. Hours? Yes. It's a very long fall, and that person seems to be quite strong, and I don't think we can sneak past him. Better get going. That's a really... Is there a, a we faster way to get like, there? I mean, we could all run at a fast pace instead of moving in like a slower, cautious one. Yeah, how... Would that make it shorter? 
I mean, yeah, I we were we we're walking here. Let's, uh, well, if we're gonna run, can I like get on your back, Rob? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just watch thank your head. You. I'm kind of tall and have to duck in this place. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my pillow and then climb on his back and like put my head on his shoulder so it's like head level with him. Okay. Aaron's a human, right? Yes. He's having okay. a tipsy as well. He's like. Yep. Yeah, if we're gonna run, um. Once we get back into the tunnel, I can summon some light for Aaron and Devin. Oh, that would be really good. Thank you, Miss right, Carbine. Let's just I... run. Yes. I'll get out of Al. Okay. Well, you could probably, like, help fly through there and make it faster, too. It's, like, super yeah, like, small. Yeah, know, how big of an owl is it? I don't even know. It's a giant owl. It's a giant owl. Uh, I don't know how big that is. <laughs> That's kind of big. I'll say probably not. Um... Yeah, you guys are able to make it through there the other way. There's no traps or nothing like that. You guys are able to make up time. You get there within an hour. You're now on a different section of the place. You guys are very winded, a little tired because you guys have been running the entire time, but you guys have made your way to this area in which you see the rope bridge. <laughs> We are not crossing uh, this bridge. We're just gonna have somebody fly us across because we cannot cross bridges to save our lives. Um, but yeah, you, uh, yeah, there's a massive uh, chasm and you only, the only thing that connects your platform to the other side is a rickety old rope bridge that you can hear creak as it sways back and forth. The bridge is only about 120 feet long and the bottom is just endless stalagmites can't really see the bottom of. You just see the tips of these big ones. I vote for flying. Hey, flying sounds great. Yeah. yeah. So, how you guys doing it? Owl form again. Okay. <laughs> you use your owl form. Um, you could probably carry Aaron and one other person. Can I just go back and forth? Yeah, oh, actually, that's a very good point. Yeah, you can just do that on the video. You do it. You're able to do it. Um, uh, what was I going to say? What did you say? What did you say? Uh, yeah, you do it. You don't have to roll anything because you don't go back to it. You're able to bring everybody over. Only one that's sort of difficult is Devin because he is wearing, like, heavy plate armor. Um, but you get him over nonetheless, and you guys are on the other side. And that is your, you guys have finally conquered a bridge, and I'm so proud of all of you. We didn't even go on the bridge. To be fair, I conquered the first one. <laughs> it's a Come very, very traumatic experience. True. It is! True. It is! Um, and yeah, then yeah, after that one guy cut that other bridge, fuck him. <laughs> this one had some quirks too, but... <laughs> But you make it you make it past the bridge and into the cave where immediately you are seen you you are met with the visage of a magnificent massive ruined city. Uh it is large. It it probably it, it's on the scale of like maybe a little bit smaller than Daxio but not much. This place is huge. And uh you see tiny little lights just sort of moving around softly throughout the this ruined city um you know that the only way to go forward is through the city who is uh leading you guys through does the architecture hearken to anything specific uh, what well, are you talking about your like uh what I'm asking is is this a drow city or does it seem to at one time, a drow city. I will say it doesn't look like a drow city, but it looks. Hmm. I'll allow you to have your thing to it. Is it oh, okay. Sure you don't have to roll, or what is it? Uh, well, I'm I'm not really asking. I was just asking if it was a drow city because she would step up for it. But 
Uh, basically, I am trying to find it. I don't know where backgrounds are, but we get to move through alleyways and whatnot to so, get through cities half speed. I guess or half time. And you would know. This looks like Drow architect architecture for sure. Okay. This is a Drow city. Or was at one time. And yeah. So are you leading the group through the city? If everyone's okay with it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, sure. Give me a survival check. Dirty 20. Uh, that is just the number you need, or it would have been another yes. failure for you guys. <laughs> uh, so, you guys continue through here. Um, as you make your way through the city, you all slowly begin to notice these small globules of light much closer in, in person. And they're gently floating in and out of the ruined landscapes, like the buildings. Uh, some will float towards one another. They'll seem to stay for a while near each other and then float past. Some will float aggressively in certain directions, just really quickly. But they all seem to be not caring about your presence. And Carbon sort of helps you guys move through the city in a way that's much more uh, fast and um, gets you to your destination on the other side much easier. Um, by the time you wake your way through the city, you have easily seen over three, maybe like 5,000 globes of light in this city. And it has taken you an hour to get through the city. But you guys are through it. Does anyone know what this light's for? What kind of check would I need to make to see if I know what the lights are? Religion, and you'd have to be proficient. Nope. Can I do it? Sure. <laughs> Uh, 27. Uh, it doesn't ring any bells for you. Wow. Just torches. Mm, you know, I may not know arcane, but I know that's not a torch. Uh, we should keep going. I think there's more important things than what lights are. Of course. Wait, hold on. I think, did you say 7 or 27? 27. 27. Oh, I hate my internet. Uh... So these are these are souls of dead people. They died traumatically and in a gruesome way. Something yeah, they're just them on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so they look like souls, I guess. Uh, kind of weird place to be. It is. Um, Maybe we should get Alistair over here. No, let's just keep going. Uh, you back into uh, closed corridors through a very large building that the doors are sort of, uh, these large stone doors are sort of um, open. Um, you continue traveling, making your way through what seems to be a very long forgotten temple to some deity upon uh, approaching through like the, uh, the pews and like all of the altars and uh, like ruined books that are throughout the, this open like chapel sort of area. You come across a main statue of this elven feature like women woman wearing a long gown that curls up at every edge of the fabric. Uh, and she is lording over the altar. She's about like a sixty foot high statue. Um, do you, any of you guys know Celestial? You keep asking us that and the answer's still no. <laughs> you just see in Celestial there's something writ on the bottom of the statue. Does it look like lol? No. If you want, I can take ten minutes and read that. Mm, please. <laughs> okay, I kind Roger, of grasp at the. I kind of grasp at the Vandrea pendant. Roger, can you like set me down at the base? Rob, he does. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take out my pillow and then lay down, and then <laughs> put my hand on on the on the celestial thing and then start casting comprehend language. Okay. Uh, I want to stay by base. Just yeah. like resting. Sure. Yeah, I sit down next to her. So. Can you, you hold my hand up? It's kind of hard to keep it up. I hold her hand up. <laughs> I appreciate you playing in character. <laughs> um, you put it over the, for after 10 minutes and you see that it says, uh, 
I guess like, I'll just fucking type this to you guys too while I say it. Um, it's uh, getting really loud of, of your keyboard. Uh, oh, I can't keep it open at the same time. Where is it? Uh, okay. You see the name Usnea, the Fallen Lachey. And that's all it says? That's all it says on there. Okay. Do any of you know Usnea? I don't believe so. Does that ring a bell? If you're proficient in religion, you could roll for it. Okay. Oh, uh, 29. Uh... Is that one less than the DC? <laughs> it is. But I'm trying to figure out what you would know at the 29. It seems like she's elven, but not quite. Like, it's a different race entirely. And by the name, you get the sense that there's a race called the Lachey. You've never heard of that before. Okay. So... This is different than, like, Drow as well, right? Yeah, it doesn't like to have, like, the same features. I mean, they're elven, but not, okay. like, the same. Okay, so it's... Usnia is some sort of different type of elf, I guess? I don't really know that much. Huh. Okay. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I mean, like... My arms are gonna fall down onto the floor. Roger I'm just gonna stay there up. for a bit. Yeah, I'll help. Um, I'll help Roger get her get, situation situated again. Can you get my pillow? I hand her the pillow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna put the pillow against Roger's neck and <laughs> just lay on that. You guys continue on. There's like a there's like a cellar that leads further down into this dungeon. Um, yeah. So you guys continue through the cellar. You open it up and I'll, you know, hustle on in. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys uh, all see that down this corridor, there are, for the first time ever, there are torches lit. They let out a soft blue hue that is not very harmful towards like uh, someone with more sensitive eyesight to light, like you, Carbrin. Um, and they're down this like very long corridor um you see that there is a sort of a humanoid form standing uh by an opening it's a little bit too far away to see what kind of but it just looks like humanoid features they're like making they're pacing back and forth in front of a like a kind of a smallish gap in the wall there's no th no other way to continue no, so there's like a path that leads directly towards that, and it seems to open up around where this humanoid is. Um, but you would, it'd be very hard pressed to get past him without rolling a bunch of like super high stealth rolls or whatever, or if you want to distract him or something. But he's just pacing back and forth. Um, they're wearing like a like a heavy plate mail, and they have like a spear. I say very quietly into the ring. Maybe these are the friendly drow. It's yeah, hard to tell, closer. but we can try and get closer, or I can call out in Elvish and see if he responds. How far away are we? Right now, you're about 300 feet. I can also... I can also try and sneak closer to look. So, yeah, the like... original spot where you guys are at, it's very narrow, and then it opens up to where, like, you can see that on the right side of you guys is, like, you know, for sure death. Like, that chasm still is going through the city, and then on the wall on the opposite side of the chasm. So, it's like a 40 space, 40 feet, like, width, and then on the wall on the opposite side of these, like, soft blue torches as you guys make your way through. Did you want to sneak up, Carbon, and see? I'm offering it to the rest of the group. Out of character, I get to- if I go alone, I can sneak and move speed without taking a penalty. If you think you can do it yourself, then you can report back to us and like, what they are. Like with the ring. 
And we'll be... Well, how far can we move without being detected? Well, I mean, you could probably get within, like, 120 feet without being detected. But... Okay, well, I, th I think we should move at least that much. That way we can sure. have Carver and Spike okay. in case something happens. Yeah. When, when we're there, can we make anything else out before I go? Yeah, so you we get about 120 feet closer, and, you know, with your perception, you see that it is a drow male. Oh. Um, something that's very interesting about, there's a sigil on his armor that looks like the necklace you have. Uh. <laughs> but I, I do see the sigil. I just was. I just say quietly into the ring, he's okay. And I just stand up, like I get out of the sort of sneak mode. Alright, well, and, they usually don't speak our language. And I fish the out. <laughs> so. so. You can do all the talking, just like in wherever we went last time. The other dark? Under dark. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll approach. <laughs> okay, so you, you guys start walking up uh, with him, like, when he sort of notices you, because you guys are trying to be stealthy. Uh, he starts, like, gritting his teeth, and, um, he puts the spear towards you guys. <sighs> Who goes there? In common? Yeah, what language is he speaking in? Common. Oh, okay. Just some adventurers looking to pass through. We don't mean any harm. I pass. Okay. He's like looking at you all very mistrustingly. Like this is such a weird occurrence. I, I do have the pendant out, like so he Are can you see showing it. it to him. Uh, I'm not necessarily making a show of it, but it's visible. He will. He would notice it. Yeah. So when you're passing, he sort of like touches your arm. What? Who are you guys? We are Nova Ash Nova Astrum, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not Nova Astra. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's one of those. I say whichever one the correct one is. Nova Mastro. <laughs> uh, we're a group of adventurers and we're looking for a brazier. <laughs> a brazier? A brazier, you're right. I'm sorry. My brain just totally Dude, we're looking we're looking for some. I'm sorry. Here, we have some. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We're please, looking. Make, please fix that and pose. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm totally wrong. No, I need some support. Uh, what's with your friend there with the pillow? Is she sick? Did she get bit? I'm very no, weak right now. We've just been walking for a long time. <laughs> she has she has small legs. What do you mean get bit? I'm gonna what, die. What you... Is your staff talking to me? Yeah, it's a long story. Stick a look, how about you look past the fact that the stick is questioning you, and maybe uh, answer what's around here that's gonna be the, biting people? Undead, undead, they've been really bad lately. Oh. You said you were looking for the brazier? Yes, and a bad. book? Was You're gonna wanna talk to... Uh... I need to look at her name. Hold on. He pulls out a slip of paper. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down to his hand and sees an ink smudged oh. name. Oh, is he new to the folks? You'll have to talk to Latrov. Oh. Can I have your yellow book? No. <laughs> okay. Go to back to bed. Oh, uh, <laughs> sleep do now. You, do you guys do you guys know about like having your strength sucked from you? Yes, it's part of shadows do you know how i can not have this you have to find the shadows that did it to you oh great oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and kill them is there any other way like a probably a high level wish spell i guess i can level up <laughs> 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 no but we, there are ways of trip like baiting your shadow to return you can strike it it just has to be they usually do it when you're sleeping that's why you don't camp out here okay well mm. i'm gonna go take a nap i'll let you come <laughs> into this into our little village here so you're safe <laughs> okay. and you can talk to our leader okay um 
Um, okay, so he's like, by the way, my name's Callum. Callum. Sounds familiar for some reason. It's short for Calaman. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> um, I, um, it's very surprising to see you. All we ever see are Cobalts. They trade with us frequently, but we haven't seen anything from them for a long time. And other than that, and the, the Will-O-Wisps wandering throughout the, you know, the city over there. The city of La Ferencia. Yeah, what, what happened there? Why are there a lot of Will-O-Wisps? It's a long story, but it's an important one. I think you better ask the leader that more than me. She was there. How many of you are there? 26. Dinjin is uh, going to have her second child by the next few 24 hours. Oh, that's exciting. And like, she just kind of brightens up. Like, that's always kind of a joyous occasion. Um, are you... you get that pendant? I looked to Nana. <laughs> Where was this? Uh, the thing? The Chimera was guarding it. Yeah? Just say that. Oh, oh uh, some Chimera <laughs> was guarding it. Oh. Do... Do they know we're here? He, like, looks directly at you, Carburn. Uh, out of character, I've never heard of this at all. No. As far as I know, no. I... I never... If I knew you guys were here, I probably would have sought you out instead of... ending up... as, you know... I don't say this so negatively, but basically ending up as ventral, you know? Like, I try and convey that, but pretend that I'm better at words than I am right now. <laughs> You guys eventually, he sort of like doesn't really talk much after that, you know, but he- I do ask if they're, f like, what cities they're all from. I do want to ask that. Well, we're from La Ferencia, but it's complicated. We, we used to be here, but we weren't citizens. Um, as you make your way uh, into this this place, you all see. Um, <clears throat> uh, wow, I lost my fucking place. Uh, oh yeah, you guys are walking down this road right, to the small little village, and you, you're just walking through this large, vertically spacious hall that just rises up to where you can't even see, like there's no ceiling. Um, that eventually, after a handful of minutes walking with um, Kalamath. You enter the village of the betrayed, and you see a bunch of drow just living nomadic lives. There are like tents made out of like hide stretched from like beasts that you've never seen or experienced before. And they're just in this small little tucked away corner. Um, and they all are seem very happy. There's like a small little uh drow girl that's running around with this other small like drow girl they seem to not even have even seen maybe their third like solstice they're very small and they're sort of just playing around um and this is a little bit shocking for you carbon because just from like body language and everybody talking you can tell that these people are much more affectionate towards each other and especially like there's no difference in like gender like the guys are uh, the girls aren't, like, super, uh, you can tell that they're definitely the more in charge, but you can tell that it's much less so we're like, you know, lick my boot sort of thing. Right, it's a lot more like the above cities I've seen. Yes, but there's definitely still, like, a, right. like, a sexist sort of, like, hey, this is, you know, the leader is a woman who's sort of, like, looking down at you guys from, like, a very large pedestal on this, like, uh, staircase that goes and spirals up, uh, to, like, a little hut, um, 
and she looks at you all curious and sort of motions for Kalmuth to bring you guys up. And as you guys are walking through here, everybody is just staring at the rest of you because you guys are so strange to them. So, yeah, you guys get up there and you see that there is a um, drow woman who looks like she is around the same age as um, Thrall, not Thrall. Was it Thrall? The lady in... Yes. The yes. screen? Yes. Yes. She looks about that old. Like, probably reaching her 800th solstice or so. Oh. Um, so very elegant nature. Know you. You know, she's a drow. And she greets you all. What are you doing in my village? What brings you two down here? Uh, the region of worlds, a book, shiny man, a lot of things, really. We have not heard of a shiny man, but I have heard of this brazier. And what is this book you speak of? Um, I think it's called the Book of Destruction or something. Is it called? The Book of Devastation. Ectus Rectus Cream. What does that mean? It translates to the Interconic from the. Uh, <laughs> yes, none of said. you know that. <laughs> yes, Ectus Rectus Zen. Nice. Close. Ectus <laughs> Zen. <laughs> uh, I would like this book. Why do you seek it? Um. We have an old friend who also wants to keep it safe. This book is what we had to seal away after we were forced to destroy this city. Before we were exiled. I don't understand. It's a powerful book, and I don't want anyone with bad intentions to have hold of it. Well, I don't think he has bad intentions. He seems a very honest creature. <clears throat> well, what brings you here? And where'd you get Lorinette's pendant? And she's like looking at you, Carver, and just like really like, hmm? <laughs> a chimera was guarding it. Lots of the younger people in the village tend to wander outside and get hurt. And she seems a little choked up by it. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm on guard. We are friends. There's just not a lot of times people come in asking for such powerful items and things. Or visitors in general. Well, this seems like a strange place to settle, considering time here seems odd. My pocket watch doesn't work here. It is, but it is in a place where so far we have not been bothered by those that have marked us as betrayed. And it lets us live out in a lifestyle we weren't able to have. Uh, Latrar. It's like... Oh, I can't type. Well, let's put aside, uh, the fact that I asked for such a book that you seemed kind of apprehensive about, I guess is the word I'm trying to say. And I don't know, tell me about yourself. There's also, we also wanted to know about the uh, Lachey or the village that was, we just passed with a whole bunch of light. Well, it's a long story, but a very long time ago, I and most of my people were 
and she sort of was just like choked up about it, like she's having a hard time remembering it and recalling it. She says, well, I was ordered with my troops by the matron mothers to kill 25% of the population as a show of power. Nothing other than just to show that they meant business and that they had power and they could use it. Um, one, and that's a, you know, common thing in our culture. They did nothing wrong. And this city was scarred from it. But I'd later found out that my commander and officer, she had, it was also a ruse to get this book. And once she had the book, she destroyed all, everybody in the city. And it was just the simplest thing. Most of the people in our regiment stayed here and had families. And I am the only one left out of those that went there. But upon our road to finding who we were and secluding ourselves away from the city that they had seen vanquished, no survivors, we took that and hid beneath it like we do now. And we're visited by an apostle of Andrea, a strange light-colored elf named Venetris. And I smile. He told us about how there was forgiveness and passion within sorrow. And that's how we've lived our lives ever since. Wait, wait. When was this? This was 760 years ago. Huh. Okay. Well, this is going to be a weird question, and you don't have to answer it, but no, actually, I don't want to ask that. Um, I know that this book has caused you great harm, but it is a dragon's treasure. No, it's a dragon's, he said it was his birthright to keep it safe, and I'm knowing what this book can do. I don't want it to be near this village where it can potentially attract danger. Because there's someone other than us here who's very dangerous. And I'm hoping he doesn't come here. I can get you the book. I can't get you the brazier. Uh, but I need something. Okay. She sort of looks at her hand and there's a tattoo on the back of it and it just, it looks like a ornate sort of like marking. Carbon, you would notice this as, a, as this, this woman has, has a, in drow culture when like you like tie yourself to somebody, you tattoo it on your skin. So, so it's like a wedding ring basically? Yes, but much more like. Right. Secure. Right. She's She's looking at this tattoo that crawls up her left arm, and she says, um, my, my lover has not returned in two days. She had went to look into the undead problem we've been having, and why there's numerous more appearing, and she has not returned, and I am... I can't leave these people, but I am very afraid for her. She is a strong warrior, but she is not. It's easy to get out of the run in the catacombs. I, uh, I walk up and I grab Carbon's hands and I say, I understand your fears. Will you help me? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Consider it done. My back doesn't itch, though. Mine does. Hmm. Um, I have.
have the book somewhere safe. You say someone's looking for it. Yes, and then I explain yes, Disco Ball you. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or describe, not explain, but... I will have more guards put on watch for this man. Yes, I want the book. What? <laughs> sorry, I can't... I literally did not hear a word you said. Oh, she basically said she'll put more people to watch. Okay. Not for him. Um, at this point, you guys have been traveling. It's been a 16-hour day. If you guys want to keep going, it'll push exhaustion. And, and you have like two stacks. Two sleep. Is there anywhere we may rest? Boop. Absolutely. We have a tent. We have a tent that could be set up. Can you protect me from shadows? There will not come here where there is light. Okay. I can teach you how to trap one. You seem like you're under the effects. Are, is it dangerous to trap one? It is very dangerous to trap one. Well, I guess you I should know. You run the risk of one taking the rest of what strength you have, but... Well, I am, I am on death's door. I so I need that. to figure out how to how to get rid of. Well, once they get a taste, they'll always come back. Yeah, you know, I used to be the strongest uh, one here. I believe it. It's true. I'm sorry. I shouldn't bring such prejudices. I'm. We are trying <laughs> to overcome those. I was gonna say you just see Carbon's eyes. Okay. <laughs> so should we help her now? While we still have something? Resemble. If you guys if you guys do leave you'll be pressuring exhaustion exhaustion. Well even if we went to like try and capture the thing. All the we could yeah, you guys could do the spirit thing if you wanted. It probably won't take that long. Sure. Okay. I'll prepare the mixture. And she sort of like covers off. <laughs> How long would this mixture take? Not that long, probably like ten minutes. Hmm, sounds like the perfect time to try a scry. Fuck you. Uh, can I offer to go like with her to learn how to do it or whatever, and just talk? Yeah, and you, she can, she can be the one that explains how what you have to do. Um, who are you scrying on, Emil? Well, I, I highly doubt this will work, but I'm gonna try to scry on Kaya. Caius? Yes, I told what's his face that I would try and scry on him at the same time as last time. Okay. Alistair. Bing. You see Caius. Oh really? Cool. Yeah, he's sitting in a he's sitting in a very fancy dress room. You see Alistair sitting in a chair, like across from him. You see your mama, your grandpa, your grandma. You see Melon Fruit Frenzy and Westerly, and uh, Alistair looks impatient. He keeps looking at uh, like a pocket watch. He keeps pulling out and looking at it, throwing sorry. it away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, yes, hello. Is uh, this to everybody or is it just to Caius? Oh uh, well, I guess this is Caius. Cause Caius, <laughs> yeah. I. <clears throat> been a while since I've heard. I heard you were going to call me. What? I. Well, things seemed fishy when I couldn't scrawl on you, so I just... Mm. Are you okay? Everything good? I am... I'm fine. I just got here very late in the night. And... I had entered this room that's scry-proof, so I'm... Sorry if that scared you or anything. Um, can everything's I fine. insight check on this? Yeah, you can if you want. It seems funny. <sighs> nothing fishy, nothing anything around the it's room. Just fine. No, they're just waiting. Uh you see that um everyone's just kinda like a little confused why they're here. <laughs> you get the sense Alistair probably just pulled them out of the room at this specific time to be very like uh lawful about it. Hmm. Uh do you think he can leave? Or does that not seem to be happening? 
Um, I, I don't think he said something about a contract that he has to keep. But I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not going to let him hurt them, so. Okay, okay, so you're not crystallized again, or... Okay, that's good to hear. All right. Uh, I, okay. I, I, I just Settle got really down. worried. You I know, just, I... I just found you, and I just got scared that it would happen again, and... <sighs> I am a legendary adventurer, okay? Listen. Uh, well, I mean... You mean what, Emil? <laughs> Son of mine? Yes? <laughs> Go ahead, speak your mind. Um... Uh, Yes. You did get stuck in that crystal All right, for a that was a, I didn't mean for you to say it. It was kind of an intimidating Well, you told encounter. me to be honest. Uh, I'm fine. It's going to be just fine. Okay. You'll be there soon. You're just kind of stuck. No in rush. Somewhere. Just be careful. Remember, watch your steps and don't trust anybody but your friends. <sighs> okay. All right. Glad to see you're safe. Good night. Good night. Alright, I end it. <laughs> okay. Alright, well that's uh, a load off my back, so... Carbon, uh, you have to put Beja in a cage, sprawling across the chasm, after Beja drinks this potion. And then when in it comes Acacia. to the potion, you have to, kill the sh you have to kill the shade. Is this what? only for one person? Uh, anybody who has it is afflicted. You have to put it, be put in cages, and then when it comes, they have to kill Wait. it. Wait! Does that mean they can't fight with us? Yes. One at a time? Oh, I don't know. You can fight, but you can't be, like, outside of the cage fighting. You could, like, be casting spells or shooting arrows through the cage. Spellcasters can help fight. Yeah, but we yeah. got Roger in a cage. <laughs> you can just do it one at a time, too. You don't have to. Oh, all and, at once? Yeah. We can also do it after a rest. Well, I don't want to use my spells just in case we run into the out of character. What if we run into him? We need to get out. Let's let's do it now. Someone else go first, though. What? Guys, <laughs> then you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, a bunch of drow sort of help you. They have like a they have a cage that's set up for this exact occasion. They help you into this cage. It's sprawling across the chasm. And, uh, uh, you're handed the mixture you have to drink. Do you drink it? Are we starting? Do I drink it? Can we ready actions to destroy this thing? Uh, can I be yeah. let out the stuff? I mean, we are expecting it. Would we get a surprise round? Uh, surprise round's kind of... Uh, you guys can hold your actions ready for it, but you don't know what will come. So if you're trying okay. to hold the spell, I'll say absolutely not. But you could have your bow drawn or something. Okay. okay. I don't have uh, a charge to put you I'll back in. Bow. Oh wait, yes oh. I do. Well, you guys are gonna be sleeping anyway, so. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You letting Argon out? Okay. Don't everybody. <laughs> don't everybody speak. That's not my decision. Emil. They can't put him back in. You guys are going to bed. Perfect time for him to sneak up and cause mischief with okay. some draw maiden. Uh, Argyle, are you saying anything to convince uh, anybody in the party to trust you or anything? I mean, it seems like a pretty fruitless effort, so. I don't know, whatever they decide. I guess whatever Emil decides. We need all the manpower we have, so I let him out of the staff. Let, let him prove him himself. Yes. Okay, so you are let out of the staff. You are now a free man. And you weren't affected by shadows because of the staff, so lucky you. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, we're just here to help Argyle out. <laughs> uh, but you're outside of the staff. Um, are you preparing your, uh, your pistol, Argyle? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, do you drink the thing, Dreiser? Is everybody ready? Yes. <laughs> if everyone's it ready, tastes, it is. It tastes like chalk. It, it's not like a liquid. It's like a weird, <laughs> chalky, like, gross mixture. And you just feel it go into your body. 
and you are uh, sort of just stuck there waiting. You guys seeing it, you can see Dryzen. She has like this sort of strange black mist that's coming out of like her pores. <laughs> it's not like super heavy, but it's light. You guys wait a while, probably about five minutes, and you see a spectral figure just kind of approach her like a what's the things in Harry Potter? The Dementor? Dementor? Dementor, yeah, yeah. It looks like one of those just It's like getting really close to her. Are you guys doing anything? Freaking Leash Le Barrage. Yeah, I'm gonna unload an arrow and I needed to cast a spell so I can't do any. You can have your crossbow out. Oh yeah, but I don't think it's gonna do I fine. I'll set my crossbow out. I shit you not a natural twenty. And this is on Well well roll your damage first, Carbrin. <laughs> okay. Uh I'm gonna just double dice this time. Sure. So uh do I double the fire damage as well or no? Uh it's all dice are doubled. I don't know. Oh I don't, boy. I don't, I don't... Yeah. Jesus, okay. Uh, six normal damage, fourteen fire damage, plus five. Twenty-five. Uh, yes. Alive, Who else had something? I shot it with a twelve, but I doubt that hit. I shot it uh, with a twelve. 16? Just hits its air. It's armor oh. Five PS. It's dead. <laughs> you kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys! Uh, right. Ryzen, you get your strength back. I feel so much better. Well, that's easier than I thought. To so, you. <laughs> we'll just say, because this is <laughs> kind of tedious, with the help of everybody out and ready, you guys are able to do it with everybody, because if you guys were preparing for it and you had this potion prepared, uh, with the help of your, your drow allies that made this for you guys, you guys are able to do it. You guys oh, regain right. all your strength. Yes, I am strong, and I'm gonna flex. And it it goes inverse. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Give me how... a strength check. I wanna see how good you flex after you get your strength back. Uh, uh, ten. Uh, okay, well, I tried. Are are they impressed? <laughs> I'm gonna look over to the drove. Be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, they give you a thumbs up, but they're just sort of like <laughs> being nice. <laughs> How long, like in game, was I in? The... Uh, from the last time, it's it was about four hours, maybe a little bit more, probably like around five. Right. During the time that I was in the staff, does that count as me resting, considering that I wasn't doing anything? <laughs> Yeah, you could even be like preparing your or repairing your gun if you wanted to. So I only need like three more hours to get the effect of a long rest, right? Uh, well, no, because you'd have to be sleeping in succession for a long rest. You didn't say you were sleeping. Uh. But you could be like working on your gun if you really needed to, with the help of Masa and. Yeah, I got hole. Do you, is that what you want to do, or you don't have to? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, give me a tinkerer's check as you're fixing it. And cleaning it out and everything. Do I get an advantage from using Mesa? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Ooh. God, where's that fastest in the west thing? Hey. <laughs> we have a channel for 19. it. Yeah. 19. Uh, yeah, you, you start cleaning it out, and you're like looking down it, and you're like, why does this thing break in the first place? And you're noticing that there's like a lot of like residue like inside the barrel. And since this is like a very first creation side of thing, you're now realizing this is something you're gonna have to maintain or stuff like happened before might happen. And you're sort of like struggling with that idea in your mind. Like, did I, was that not my fault? Was that like an error through the gun? And then you like, well, I built the gun, so it is my fault. And it's just sort of like, you're struggling with that in your head a little bit. But you're able to fix Eon's blight. You get it going. Nice. Now I can shoot things. 
a lot uh, better. Before we go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> no. I tell Beja no. that I saw Mel and Fruit Frenzy. Jesus, calm the fuck down. No. <laughs> I know what you want to do. And now it'll uh, I'm what? not going to do that. I don't know what you think. I know what I, I, if you remember what I said, it's when I don't scar on anyone else. Mm. Mm. So anyways, uh, Beja, I tell you about Mel and Fruit Frenzy and I was like, why? I don't know why he's at Wakefield, but there he is. I know you always ask about him. I mean, he went there with uh, everyone else at the same time, right? No, I thought he stayed behind and made a contract. Oh, oh she was. I thought that him and uh, Westerly. Fuck, but so yeah, Westerly, I thought they yeah. took the grandpa. Yeah, he he did a contract, but then both of them, along with uh, your parents and grand or grandparents, went to Wakefield. All at the same time, I thought. Did he? I don't remember anymore. Look. Oh, you wanted me to clarify, or are you just talking in character? Yeah. Yeah, so they made a character, and Alistair brought them all back, because you said you wanted to keep them safe. And he was like, hey, you owe me another favor, and then did it. How's he doing? Uh, he seems okay. I didn't really get a chance to talk to him. I didn't remember he was there. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we can get back there soon. Yeah. I want to I want to see Wakefield. It's been I don't want to see the lug tie. Ah, I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah, you, you sound it. I'm worn out too. Like um, even after I got my strength back, I just wanted to lay down. We should also tell everyone I'll tell Roger and Brazen about what the book actually is, and even though I said out loud kind of what the word was, that is not really a thing of destruction. You gave your dragon book to that kobold, right? Yeah, the book okay. of dragons. Okay, cool. Just so everyone knows kind of what the book is for and why it's, we need it. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, uh, before I forget, um, I'm going to pull out my bag of holding. How many people are we splitting this? We should still give to the Arga. He helped with the Chimera. Uh, we should give a little so, bit to... Maybe not a full portion to Dan, David. <laughs> David? Devin. Yeah, okay. Devin. Devin. What about, so, Devin, so... Devin, Aaron. It's either going to be David or uh, Daniel, and I know both of them are wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness, you. You was so... clown. I don't know, but uh, I guess we can we need to split this. Yeah, we can, do it. we can do it during our week break. <laughs> okay. How much did we get? 25,000. And six, and six kobold pieces. Well, maybe they're like the gold bars and actually worth a lot. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, they were made out of copper. Sentimental value? Mm, maybe they're historical artifacts. I don't know. Maybe, you yeah. Give them a fix. They're mementos. Sorry, what? It's Vix, right? Vix is the other kobold. Yeah. Could just give the kobold money to that. I wonder if they have the same money between tribes. I mean, the tribes know each other. I would assume it's like a racial economy thing. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to go past. Okay. And I'm going to immediately just like drop right there. All right. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to do over the night next next to a very warm fire in an open tent? It's like a camping scene in this little drow village. Devin, let's cuddle. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Cut the cut the black. You know, it's second base, lads. Hey. Uh, uh, he's like abrasive. Jesus. 
Can I take my armor off first? Aggressive yeah. tuddling. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets through the long and lengthy process of taking off his fucking armor. It's like 15 minutes of waiting. <laughs> but after that, you guys, you guys cuddle and... Yeah. Does anyone want to do anything else through the night? So, I have a hammering scheme. Oh, okay. God. Okay. Fuck, Here we go, out. boys. <laughs> so, with the mushrooms that I have, sure. can I try one of them? Yeah, you bite it, it tastes pretty good. It almost tastes sweet. Uh, nothing? Nothing bad? I'm surprised that didn't kill me. No, it's just a mushroom. So I'll offer it out to other people. Want a mushroom? Yeah, the dra as you like having it, you can see that they like <laughs> they seem to like it too, and they're like, oh yeah, the kobolds used to get this for us, but we don't they don't trade with us much more. So, Baby, you want a mushroom? <laughs> oh, I just Beige leave the mushroom on Beige. <laughs> You gotta get, just, you gotta offer Beja cabbage to wake Beja. I'm, I'm just snoring right now. <laughs> the great beast only accepts cabbage. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. <laughs> right on. Uh, you guys sleep, sleep. You guys all have a full rest. Um, in the night, uh, you guys all have a fun evening, except for Emil and Argyle. We'll start with Argyle, because he's egg. What? Mm -hmm. So I got to whispers. Argyle. Oh. We're all gonna die. I'm not gonna die anymore. Okay, good. Hello? I... Does anyone else agree that that's just pure anime looking guy that the cobalt drew? Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we're giving Devin and uh, Aaron 2,000 each, and then we're giving each other three. 3,000 each? I think that makes 25 if I do my math right. Yeah, it, uh, it does. Just solid 3,000? Yep. Okay. I will add that to my thingy. Maybe we should make them earn their keep for those 2,000. That's I a lot we, of gold. <laughs> we hold their 2,000 back until we get through the dungeon. Yeah, 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 yeah. The DM wants you a meal. Give him some motivation. Don't die. Yeah. You're gonna keep him waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, oh that you were talking to me to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. B. <laughs> they were talking to me like, oh, yeah, you're going to keep the DM waiting. And I'm just. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, you. <sighs> Get visited. Uh, uh, you're yawning. A character made me fucking tired. <laughs> I hate you. I'm sorry. Uh, you get visited by Penistopheles of Center Mabel, the 23rd of Hollow Point, just south of the blacksmith. <laughs> Good god. <laughs> Hello, uh, he sort Penistopheles of, he just sort of like He's sitting at a, at a table, and he's sort of like talking to a couple merchants, and they seem to be having a good time. He's like, we can meet for drinks later. We, how does that, does that sound fine? Does that fit your schedules, everyone? It's great. I will meet you down there. I just have someone to talk to. Hello, Emil! How are you talking to other people? This is just a memory you're seeing of mine, but I can see you and talk through this because we are connected. Ah. Do you relive your memories often? Oh, gosh. Oh, I do. I really do. I really liked what you did with the kobolds. Very good. 
You were a little bit hesitant with the Chimera, but I appreciate the thought process with trying to maybe not hurt him, but let's be honest, that goat was crazy, right? Well, yes, the goat was crazy, but I thought we could, uh, yeah. overpower well, I've always the had other this part time with dragons because dragons are very cool, but sometimes there's ones that are very evil. Uh, do you know of a green one and a black one? I have met a silver one that's evil, which is so very rare. Evil. Okay. Silver ones are usually very nice. Yeah. Um, I've dealt with a lot of dragons in disguise. Um, they usually like to make deals and fortunes. They always have their hand in something, a money pot, if you will. So, how are you? Do you have any questions for me? I'm bored. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see uh, everything that we're kind of going through, because that should be entertaining yeah. enough. If you could get that man's dresser, like his um, clothier, I would pay great money to have what he's wearing. You know, I think that's a little too aghast for your taste. You seem more well, of a refined fellow. Uh, you know, flattery will get you everywhere in this business, Emil. But I shouldn't be taking too much of your time. Uh, I just wanted to say good job, keep it up, and be very careful, because if you go, then I'd be very sad. Question, if I did go, yes. would I just go into the crystal? Or well, no, I... you haven't completed, you wouldn't complete your trial, so you would just... Ah, oh, man, it's hard to say this because it's very bad, but I'm going to be very blunt with you. You would just die. Your soul doesn't get kept if you don't complete it. Because you aren't uh, completely attuned with the spirit, so you don't get the... The little house You don't get the house bonus house. of being able to live forever inside of a gym with all the people that have done it before you. Yeah. I will say, Talabrina is not the fun type, but Orion is pretty cool. Wait, there's another Orion? Yeah, that's where all the hunt masters get their name, is Orion. But Caius is named Caius. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you. Hmm. Hmm. We'll just pretend this never happened. No, it's fine. What are they gonna <laughs> do? Uh, capture you for eternity. No. Oh, wait, it's We're already done. Enough. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, please be careful. Any questions? More? Uh, not that I can think of, but if, uh... Hey, if you need me, I'm just south of the blacksmith, so... What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just south of the blacksmith, that's just my title. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> you go to general. It's like, uh... They want to take my arm! Hello! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Alright. We've got a deal. <laughs> you, have to, you have to do that in character, though. Oh, yeah. We all wake up before Argyle and take his other arm. <laughs> you just pull it out the socket, rip it. No, the other arm. You take my leg. Oh, you the know? other. Okay, I was like, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> if you take my leg, then I can make jokes saying, "Oh yeah, this cost me an arm and a leg." You can clearly see. Oh, I won't right, give that to you. Back. Wait, did you make you the guys... command? <laughs> hmm? uh, you leave us alone for like three minutes, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to. My problem is. This is a good spot to end it. But it is 30 minutes of content, so... Let's go. That's what I'm saying. So, we'll go for a little bit. If I find a spot that's better, then we'll do it. But So, you guys wake up in the morning. Uh, bre breakfast is made for you. Uh, it's not typical drow food that you're used to carbon. It's kind of just sort of like make do down here. A lot of it's sort of subterranean weird stuff. <laughs> And meat you probably shouldn't be eating, but, you know, it tastes good. Um, they haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's like a, there's a bunch of little, the two little kids that have sort of been playing around come over to you guys. And uh, they like ask you a bunch of questions and they're super cute about it. But... I give them candy. I sing them a song. Wait, you give them candy? Yes. How much? Um... Well, we had 11 bags, and we probably have less than that, so give them a bag. Holy shit, yeah, they, they go into it. They love it. They're just into it so much. You get a scowl from one of their mothers. Like, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, no, 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 you play them a song? Yeah. Okay, give me a performance check. It's gonna be better than anything they've heard, but... <laughs> uh... That's a lot of numbers. Hold on. Is it about 30? It's 34. 
Yeah, the best. <laughs> you guys see Nana put on the performance of her life for these drow people, and it's very heartwarming. It sort of like gets everybody like very excited. You get a couple people come up to you and ask for like lessons, and then they're like, "Wait, you won't be here for that long? Shit! Well, <laughs> what is this?" They ask you questions, and you think you've set a trend. I'm gonna write this down that this village of the betrayed starts to practice music. That's a very high roll. Yeah. They seem into it. Nice. Uh, yeah, you guys are ushered out of the village, and Iltrar sort of, you know, is the person that leads you out. She says, uh, "If you, if you find her, there's she has a pendant similar to the one that you wear. Um, it on the back, it has an inscription that we had on the day that we were, we were tied, uh, and it just says till my last." So if you could, I hate to think that she's dead, but if you find it, I would like it back. Of course. It just looks like a dark opal thing. Anyways, good luck. Uh, one question before we go. How long has she been gone? Two days. Three now. Okay. Hi. You guys exit the village and continue on your way. Uh, Carbon, question. Hmm? Why can't they just, I don't know, leave and live on the surface? Uh, well, one, we're currently in a magical dungeon in a mountain. <laughs> Well, yeah, but... Uh, um, I'm sure that they could. When we come back, we could ask them. I know that, personally, it hurts my eyes, and in certain places um, that may be closer to where the dro are, uh, they may attack on sight. It can be dangerous for them. It's not as dangerous as I thought, though. She kind of gives, like, a surprise, like, a uh, not what, you know, kind of just like, I don't know why, but okay. We can ask them when we get back, though. That's a good question, why they haven't just gone up. But it does hurt my eyes a lot. It's uncomfortable to be up there. Well, I mean, I know that... The dwarves don't really like drow, but we've also kind of, you know, scooted in there and maybe we can, like, show them that drow aren't so bad again. It's a nice underground place. That's true. That's not a terrible idea. And they can try our candy and he won't be the only elf there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> she's uh, she's like amused by that idea. Well, it's a nice thought. So let's hurry. Let's find this lady. I know she'll be safe. Yep. We draw are pretty. We're pretty tough. I think she's okay. Okay. You guys continue on. You are making your way on sort of a similar path to one that you had originally met the diamond man. Um, but it's different, you can tell. It's just sort of like how things are here, how the paths are sort of created through like the wind, or not the wind, because there's no wind, but how like the terrain has sort of formed itself. Um, you guys walk for some time. Uh, who's leading this expedition? Carbon with your special eyes. Can you please lead us? My friend. <laughs> sure. And I do have dancing lights up for the humans. Okay. Just give me a perception check this time. Carbon. Our dark vision is not as good as your dark vision. <laughs> Natural 20 for a 27. Very good. Uh, that's a success. You guys are ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you guys 
are at two successes, one failure. No, wait, who's um, Inuyasha's brother? Because that's what he reminds me of. I have no, I've never seen that anime. What? <laughs> Legitimately, I've never seen that anime. All I know is he has a tail, right? Beja. Photos. What? Uh, Sashomaru. I really was actually surprised he knew that, but put photos there. I, I googled it. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Carbon, you are moving around this, like, uh, this side, and, um, well, I guess I can just move you to the map, to what you see. Yeehaw! Uh, you see this. Oh god, a bridge. No, there's a bridge. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> Up above a there blue is... blue water. <laughs> oh, there is, true, that's true. Um, but yeah, you guys are above... <laughs> this like the second tier and on this bottom one you see that there is a campfire but there was nobody there there's like some stuff that's left but nothing's there fire is still very strong like it wasn't made very long ago and mm, but we're a chad right? dead horse here. dang it margaret what's Wait, your there's name a dead guy here. <laughs> megan megan <laughs> sorry dog uh, people over here I guess I can just be right comes on the board or whatever, but yeah, this is what you see. <clears throat> By the way, uh, Aaron and Devin got 2,000 gold. I'm not sure if we said that already. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Did we come from over here? Yes. I'm just gonna put a little X over there so that we... Dragon, Emil, God, there's literally, you guys have a small army. <laughs> oh my god, you guys literally have a small army. Oh my god. Anyways, but yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna put you guys there because you guys can move around and explore whatever you want. If you guys are gonna go down to the bottom level layer, you won't be able to climb back up without help of some kind. Because it's sheer, like a, just a straight drop off. I look over the. Well, if you want to investigate it, you have to get down there and, like, be around it and look for clues. Wait. Oh, can I go over here and, like, tie a rope to this, like, post? Yeah, sure. Or you can use my... And I check through my bag of holding. Immovable rod. Immovable rod! I like that uh, idea better. It's more that's stable. safer. Yeah, I'm going to go... <laughs> uh, Put the rod here. Okay. And then I'm going to tie my 200-foot yellow rope. Click. So right. like that. You slap the immovable rod. Bam. Oh, yep. Perfect. And you can now scale down. You'll still have to make an athletics to go up, but it won't be difficult because it's a rope. Also, Beja. Yeah. Do you have your familiar? Could we send your familiar down one path to see maybe what's over there? Oh sure. Yeah, I can do that. I don't think it's died, so I'm gonna poop it out. I think it was Nawa last time. Um, Actually, I'll go down with you, Beja. Which is probably not the best choice because we both suck at athletics, but whatever. Well, Roger's coming with you because he's been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. like, yeah. Are these mushrooms or are they just like. Yeah, they're mushrooms. They're different kind of shape, though. Oh. What, what so are we investigating this? Uh, you guys all talked at once. Sorry, Nana, you said something? What? Never mind. I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. Beja, you said something? Are we investigating this, Emil? Uh, I, I want to investigate it. Okay, so both of you roll investigation checks. 27. It's not a 27, but it's a good old 21. <laughs> okay, Beja, you're looking around. Um, something you notice is for some reason uh, around the fire, there's charred black marks around most of the stuff. And even on the things that, like, um, uh, like this laid out sort of bedroll that's still out, it looks like it's flame resistant and it still has, like, these black marks inside the bag. Um, there's also, uh, Meal, as you're sort of looking over here, you have the same conclusion where you see that, for, like, the lips of, like, these sacks, like, if someone were to pull the sack open, the, the lip of it is burnt. Wait, so can these, just like the edges of this were burnt? 
So basically, anything a body would touch when getting inside of a sleeping bag is burned. Anything a body would touch whenever getting inside a sleeping bag would burn. Yeah. So just like the inside and the rim? Yeah, you see it's like it's like singed off and what? like... Does this fire look magical? Uh, it looks like a fire. So just normal fire? Yeah, it's burning logs. So Except for the logs have like, you know, sort of uh... Uh, subterranean qualities, like, you know. Oh, why? How fresh is how fresh the fire? This was probably made with that investigation. Probably made about ten minutes ago. Wait, what? Who made this? Oh, probably the same person who made the other campfire that wasn't um, turned off. In the bridge. do I see anything just kind of in the north area, just looking? So when you go over there, it leads into like a like a like a nook and corner, and you see that it just dead ends over there. Okay, but there there doesn't seem to be anything. No, nothing nothing super particular. There's like uh, a fence that's sort of off the edge to maybe like help somebody from falling off at some point, but mm -hmm. other than that, no. Okay, I'll do the same thing over here. That one leads further around the mountain. It kind of curves around with it. Okay. Uh, okay, do we need to look anywhere else? Okay. Can I look down here? Yeah, you take a peek over the edge. Give me a perception check. Uh, 16. Uh, it looks like the only thing you can really make out is there's a very large sail that is fresh. Like a sail of the ship. Oh, okay. Can I see? That's weird. Yeah. Hello? Do you see what, Emil? Ignore me. Okay, what'd you say? Sorry, like everyone's cutting out for me right now. Yeah. Oh, might just be me. No, it's all of us. So, oh, I, did you I just heard. What the question? I just wanted to know what was over here. Uh, it just continues on. And same for Argyle, over are you here. harvesting those shrooms? Uh, yeah. Uh, just give me, give me a nature. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, okay. 16. Okay. So, with this one, we'll say you can get three large flat top mushrooms. Um, that are, like, that you get, like, a decent amount of quality of. Uh, as you're, like, handling them... You get the sense that these ones are poisonous because they make your hands itch. Ooh. You don't take damage though, but maybe ingested it'd be pretty bad. Only my left hand itch. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, okay. hand uh. <laughs> Phantom pains in my right hand, just like what? <laughs> Bam! You basically just see most of the places are charred. Um, Is this charred? Char? No. Uh, this is not, this is just like dirt. Oh, right. I couldn't is, put the chart on the map, I couldn't find something good for it, but... Are these skeletons, like, actually here, or are they... Yeah, everything on the map's actually oh. there, if you want to like, look at them. Um... Uh... Hey, Carbon. Do you want to <laughs> help me inspect these bodies? <laughs> I guess I'll go help him. <laughs> sure, why not? I'm kind of hesitant, considering there's, like, undead around, you know? Uh, yeah, you look at it, uh, make a investigation check, or, uh, yeah. Why, what are you trying to figure out? What kind of creature it is, or, like, uh... Uh, what, what it is, and, like, how long it's been dead. So, investigate, probably. A 20. Okay, so, you, it just looks like, it looks like some sort of, uh, what you ignore is, like, a canine, but the skull is so much different. It's like a crocodile. Uh, you know what this is, Carbon? Do I know what this is? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, give me animal handling or survival. You can pick. Survival for sure. That is a 14. Um, yeah, you're not sure what it is, 
but it's definitely weird. It looks like almost like it's not a creature. It might have just been a mutation from something. I'm not sure. It looks like it might have been a creature of some kind that got mutated or something weird like that. What type of mutation gives it like a dog body and a crocodile head? Ugh. <laughs> how long... Can I figure out how long it's been dead? Like... Oh, right, right, with the 20. I remember that was your other question. Uh, probably about a century. Okay, so it's nothing to worry about. What about this fine gentleman over here? Uh, with that same investigation check, you know that it looks like it's shorter in stature, almost more like a, um, dwarf, uh, but not, uh, it looks like they've been dead for much longer than the creature under it, probably about 600 years. So a dwarf and a crocodile. Um... I go into the ring and just tell him, it's like, uh, yeah, there's like a charred sleeping thing back here. Um, there's two paths that we can see. I don't know why the light on this campfire is still on. It seems very strange to keep one. We're not going to use it. Sorry, some of that cut out for me. You're not going to use the light what? I don't know why the campfire light is still on. Do you want to put it out? No. Maybe they got to... it. Uh, after we're done with that, I just point out there's more path this way. We can investigate further down this way, and I point, you know, this way. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I want to look out, look at this thing. And then can I send my familiar down here yeah there's nothing down there it's just a dead end make a perception check with for your owl i think he has advantage because keen sight right a two and a five Oof. yeah it's real dark down there it's kind of hard for your owl to see but you still see the same thing you see the beginnings of a like a large uh sail of like a ship uh does it well would I know any way a ship could get in here? Because it's kind of weird for a ship to be in a mountain. I mean, would you? See, like you said, it's weird for a ship to be in a mountain, right? Yeah, I will say that to everyone else. Like, guys, there's just a ship down here. And I have no idea how it could be here. <laughs> I mean, Are we going to fight skeleton pirates? Oh, God. <laughs> I wish. It could just be magical stuff. I mean, we went through some pretty bizarre areas so far. Um, oh, I guess can, keep that. Can you, can you guys just come up? I'm, I'm a little scared about down there. Wait, actually, hold on. Isn't this supposed to be the vault of a pirate? Yeah. Oh, shit. Maybe that's his ship, then. I jump down onto the ship. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm like, holy fuck, that's a long drop to jump onto the sail. I got a polymorph. So. Is there a way you could, like, send your owl onto the ship? Out of character, I already rolled really poor and I can't re-roll. Oh. oh, shit, fuck. Uh, I... Carbon has more paths that we should probably investigate before we decide to jump down a cliff yeah. with unknown well, I means. Mean, may maybe the path goes down there eventually. Like, yeah. But at least we're getting closer? Yeah. yeah. I think okay. we're coming I've... back this way, right? Unless we need to teleport. Mm. Yeah. You can uh, stick on the high road. If you guys want to stick on the low road. Um... I want my movable rod back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna to... climb back up. Yeah. Okay, you guys climb back up. Everybody's on top, on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, no check? Okay, cool. perfect. Thank you. I'll let it slide because it's 451. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, we all Take would put in the work to get you back up. I don't want to be a dick and be like, ha, you fall, loser. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
You um, fall, the shadow comes back. <laughs> What's your guys' next step? Go down this that way. path. Okay, you go down the path, and then we'll we'll start with the uh, you guys going on a nice hike the next section. Uh, my goodness, guys, you you domed my chimera. You freaking domed him. I don't know if you had that little help. The challenge rating of its chimera is not that high. Yeah. That was, yeah. He just gave us a moral dilemma, because one of them was cool, the two of them were not. Well, I mean, they all were trying to kill you. But... Yeah, but the line was cool about it. <laughs> the bridge thing was very funny. If you guys are going to cross it, you guys are going to get, like, <laughs> you have to make a bunch of checks and you have to do it specific ways. But I, I did it to be funny, because I was like, the bridge is going to fly over it. <laughs> you know us. Crossing a bridge? Never. Why would we do hey, that? You, you just you know, actually... I'm gonna retcon this. I'm gonna polymorph across this. I'll cross this bridge. Oh my god! Okay, take this pulse slot away. Oh, uh, no, actually, never mind. I'm good. Well, you would have regained it because of we slept since then. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I have. I could have done it even before I slept. I had a polymorph in my ring too, but not anymore. I think we might be fucked because like. If we keep avoiding bridges, eventually the guy from the ethereal plane that's documenting everything we do will you take notice and then just write one of our biggest weaknesses for whoever's <laughs> planning to fuck us over to use to fuck us over. It's like, ah, yeah, Nova Master, you've come to defeat me. Ah, but first you'll have to cross my mouth, which is only crossable with a very thin, very flimsy bridge. Have fun. We'll just fly across. Anti-magic no, zone. <laughs> The big bad evil guy, you is he's on basically a tower, and the only way to get to the tower is multiple rope bridges. And you guys are set on each the end of each one of the rope bridges. When you get inside the tower, it's just more bridges. Just Carburn and Dryden will be fine. The rest of you will just die. Car Carburn will walk across and Dryden and start catching everyone that falls. Yup, sounds about so right. Now, for some reason, will be a statue again. Yeah. <laughs> Same with just Roger. Sunday. Yeah, Roger and Nana will just be like <laughs> in these dramatic poses as they're stone. <laughs> you guys go ahead. I'll stay back and look after them. <laughs> yep. As Argyle just sits around and reads a book. Hey. But yeah, good session today, guys. Very good, very good. And if you guys have any questions, just message me. And we should be back this next Sunday. Sorry if the session wasn't that fun. I'm trying to make this dungeon fun. I hope it's fun, but... I like it. I'm I having like fun. Going. I like how obnoxious all of the enemies we run into are. <laughs> and I have to set a reminder to draw you guys. Fuck. Nope. Yeah, show us what like you got so dying. far. <laughs> Here, I can, okay, okay, okay. I can do that. I'm gonna redo it all. I also was gonna redo Dryzen's because I, I was like, oh, wait, I need to redo Dryzen's. <laughs> So we'll start with the Emil's one, which is the least finished, because... You got his head. <laughs> Basically... Whoops. I just drew an unnecessary line. Okay. This is a meal so far. You're <laughs> 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 Listen, all right. It's not that easy. <laughs> they don't. They don't have fun. All right. Here's. Oh, come on. Why aren't you opening your eyes? Let's come on. There we go. <laughs> this one I'm really not proud of. I was gonna redo this one entirely because I was like drawing it while you guys were trying to talk to the chief. But I was drawing it, and it gave Dryzen like a stump leg and like a weird sloppy <laughs> positioning, and no fucking crystals in her hair. And I'm like, and then I was like, you said vest, and I was like, I'm so confused. How do I do a vest? I'm so confused. It kind of looks like a potato sack. <laughs> oh, kind of does, eh? Oh. And then Beja's was finished. <laughs> was I'm gonna put this in my commission folder. This is Beja. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to... File system error. Excuse you. Thank you. Oof, that scared me. I'm gonna me. send it as references when I get new commit. Oh my god. This one was just like... 
<laughs> you said the cloak, and I just went off that. <laughs> um, <laughs> perfect, I'm saving this. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, but I like the idea of you guys all being in the same picture, so. <laughs> we all look doesn't, happy doesn't, at all. draws like a three-year-old. Relax. <laughs> you, you don't understand the kobold's Listen, artistic vision. I'll, that's it is right. deep and complex. Deep and complex. I will take your criticism and apply it to the final product. <laughs> what? Yeah, but listen. What if uh, you, you nobody's really happy because the cobalt has early onset depression? Oh, shit. Oh. It looks weird to see a meal of their body, but I mean, if the tail's <laughs> something you want to point out... It's a cloak of invisibility. <laughs> it's all game. I will say, your hair was difficult because don't you have purple hair? They all, and paint, the only purple was like that. And I was like, fuck, I got him reversed. I should have made his skin the light purple and the hair the dark purple. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. And I started drawing the cape and I'm like, this just looks like Emil doesn't have a body and those are his legs and his arms are coming out of his head. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so, he was a small boy. Yeah. He's literally all legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I originally not drawn the braid, and then I was like, fuck, I messed it up. But I was trying to roleplay a fucking like, NPC of a kobold who's not very intelligent while doing this, and I'm like, oh god, I'm so fucked. <laughs> At least the effort's there from the kobold. Yes, that's true. But you'll have better pictures, I promise. No, these are perfect. Yeah, I Jarvis has a stump leg, and I was like, didn't notice it until I saved the picture, and then I was like, right as I saved it, I was like, oh, I gotta go back and fix that. Fuck. <laughs> no, they're just slightly walking forward. It's a perspective thing. <laughs> With straight legs. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, good sesh, and... See you guys next week and have a good week. Hey, have a good one. See you later. See you. Bye. Bye bye.